Hello and welcome to Quizzlemania 54. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this from. Welcome to the quizziest of all wrestling quiz shows here, the finical of sports infotainment. I am your host for today's episode, Luke Owen, D-A-D, and I've got loads of Qs looking for some A's with some of the biggest names in wrestling infotainment, some Quizzlemania champions, some Quizzlemania legends, and Dan Layton is also here. So without further ado, let's get into this and meet all of our contestants, kicking off with the man that usually host this show, but today is nothing but a contestant, a peanut in the idiot gallery. It's Adam Blompier. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Luke. You look like a pet undertaker. Oh, thank you very much. It's, it's lovely to get dressed up for the occasion. My wife said I look nice. Uh, so <laughs> You do look nice. <laughs> thank you, mate. Well, you said I look like a crap magician when you first came in. Yes, you, you do. You do a bit or like a bartender at a like a beach bar that is sort of pretending like it's like fancy Copacabana, but actually is a bit, you know, shite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think, I mean, what I look like is I'm about to go to my uh, year 11 dinner and dance. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm wearing my first ever suit that my dad's lent me. Sliding a note to a girl saying, like, do you fancy me? Tick yes or tick no. I am. Um, uh, my year 11 dinner and dance. Uh, I got to dance with the girl that I fancied the most at Not the whole school because I helped her mate do well in her maths GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> So she got me what a simp. A, she got me a, a dance with her friend who I fancied the most. Uh, and we danced to Ricky Martin. Excellent. Um yeah. you went dancing in the rain. Yeah, Hero? Was that um that Ricky Martin? That's Chad Kroger. No, not that Spider Man one. one. No, uh, I mean, Dan shaking his head. Oh, when, when Dan comes in, I'll ask him which one I mean. Um, <laughs> Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. Thanks, Dan. There it is. There it yeah, is. Yeah, I danced to Enrique Iglesias, and she felt mad awkward about it, and so did I. Adam, why are you in the uh, contestants chair rather than hosting this one? I want to win it before, you know, before I die. Because <laughs> the last time you didn't win, did you? No, I lost uh, the championship and my hair. Yeah, so uh, not not a good day at the office for you. But, you know, hopefully today will be better. Uh, well, for those of you who... Oh, sorry, you go. Well, I was going to say there's unfortunately a bit of foreshadowing. As you can see, I, I am uh, relatively like shaven uh, today. Uh, I thought, well, obviously it's Quizlemania in the evening. I'll, I'll, I'll have a little trim because it was getting a little fluffy. And um, someone has messed with the uh, the settings on my trimmer because I am well, I'm far too shaven. And I just did a big thing and I was just like, that's taken off way too much. That's much narrower than I was expecting. So now I'm a little boy. <laughs> I was thinking you do look younger than when I saw you not four hours ago. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I regret this. Uh, so I've already lost some hair today. Um, so yeah, it's a grim portent of things to come. Well, Adam, you haven't uh, been as a contestant uh, since Quizzlemania X7, which, when you think about it, was quite a while ago. It's fucking uh, loads ago. It was loads ago, mate. Uh, can you remind people what is your fast food venue of choice? Ooh, um, hard pressed, but I'm going to say Five Guys Burgers and Fries, please. Um, and your Greg's order? My Greg's order is a cheese and bean melt and... <sighs> A sausage roll for later, because I don't mind them cold. Mm, a connoisseur's choice. Adam, thank you so much. Best of luck to you today. Have a fun show, if nothing else. Uh, coming in next is a former Quizzle Mania champion, one of the all-time greats of this stupid little game that we play. Her name is Alex. She is a queen of the ring. And we have the Church of Lovely Friendos in representation. How are you, my friend? I'm doing very well, Luke. Might I say, you look so handsome in that oh, bow tie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You can see now it's got a bit of those floral notes to it. Yes, I can see now. It looks dashing. It, it thank just you. It brings your eyes out, you know. And if you if you maybe want to throw me some extra points for complimenting oh, you. Oh, I, and also, I, we have I, a great oh, alliance. Yeah, sorry. I, I now see what you're doing. I thought you were just being nice, but no, you're, you're, you're fishing for Denise Salcedo. Oh, you showed up. Here's five points. 
Yes, exactly. Also, <laughs> maybe I deserve a little more points because of the trauma that I went through last time I was here with the money in the bank. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> we have a terrible time together. So I feel Sympathy like we've points. Own, we've got our own support group for this. <laughs> Nothing but a support group. Alex, um, it's been a while since you've been Quizzle Mania champion. Uh, are you gunning for it today? Yes. I'm going to do anything that it takes. I'm going to lie. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to steal. But most importantly, I'm going to have fun. Excellent. I'm a, I'm a friend, though. So, you know. You are a friend, eh? You know. Uh, you know. Oh, I, I know. I get it. <laughs> uh, last time, before, before I uh, send you off into the abyss, um, who's your wrestler of the year? Well, it's definitely not CM Punk, I'll tell you that. Much. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, hoo. Um, my wrestler of the year. It's it's gotta be Sami Zayn at this point. He oh, came yes. in, in the last half, but that performance at Survivor Series was phenomenal. So I'm Chef's go with kiss. Sammy. Yeah. Thank you, Alex, so much. I hope you have a fun time today, as always. Thank you so much. We love having you here. Everyone give it up for Alex in the chat. Uh, up next, making his debut on Quizzlemania, a man who I have been campaigning to have on this show for many, many months, but Adam says no, because in his own words, he's more handsome than me and he'll just show me up. He is the Professor Dan Layton. How you know, are you, Dan? You know when Adam was talking about someone messed with his beard trimmer? It was me, Austin! <laughs> it was me all along! <laughs> I bloody knew it was you, Dan. Uh, Dan, how are you feeling since we announced yesterday that you were no, gonna, uh, no longer going to be doing the Raw podcast with me? And there's been nothing but an outcry of support for the Professor yeah. Dan Layton to return to Raw. In fact, I would argue the news that me and Pete are going to be reviewing Raw has been met with the most negativity I've seen all year <laughs> long. That means my paid hate campaign is working. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I had a lot of old man yells at clouds comments uh, for oh, my wow. thoughts I mean, on this look. week's Raw. That's that's exactly the, the audience I've been catering to since I started my YouTube channel, so <laughs> thrilled to know they're still here. How are you, sir? Are you excited for your Quizzlemania debut? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm here to sort of um, bring up the numbers. I'm here to sort of contribute and have a nice time, but uh, I'm in no way a threat, I think, to anybody. And may I say, I think you look like you've sort of got a funeral in the morning, but you're filming a game show pilot in the evening. Oh, so I'm, I'm sort of double dipping. Double with the outfit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see. Uh, yeah. I, I, and I, I'd, I'd also agree in a way. This is actually like one of my more fancier suits. This is my proper tuck suit. I'm wearing like a tuck shirt and everything. It's got ruffles. Oh, wow. On it's got all the stuff. lines on it. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Strong. I'm, I'm in so, my, uh, my evening sweater. It looks super duper comfy. It's well comfy. It's massive. Dan, in um, uh, massive it is. Uh, in yeah. Cinemania history, you uh, your big thing is you love to come third. Um, well, I don't. I, I don't love to come third. It's just that I did come third, and at that point, I was like, "Well, I've started now, so I might as well carry on." You know, it, it wasn't. It's never been my goal to be bronze. Mm -hmm. but oh, I I'll see. take yeah. it. Yeah. So you you know so you are going to try and win today, right? Yeah, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give the old colours try. You know. I'm going to be yeah, the best uh, of well. British. <laughs> love to see it. Also, love this comment here. Dan is so cute. Thanks. You should see uh, me when I made an effort. Dan, uh, also, can I, I'm just going to give you the floor here so you can plug away your latest video that you just posted up on your uh, your YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what happened was I, I've spent 20 odd years wondering whether or not the trifle that Rachel made in Friends actually does taste nice because the logic was custard good jam good meat good and i can't fight that so i made it to see and i did find out about that i'm not going to tell you what happened because that would be you can, spoilers you can go find it over on dan layton's youtube channel dan we always ask this of debut debutante guests fast food chain of choice it's a good question um i i really can't I, it's, it's uninspired but i do love a macca's What's your Macca's? What's your Macca's meal of choice? It's a Big Mac. It's a big medium Big Mac because no one needs a large. And if I'm feeling oh, yeah. fancy, I'll have a vanilla a banana milkshake. Come on, Dan. It's a large Big Mac meal with a double cheeseburger on the side and whatever seasonal no, I don't need side any goes with that. No, I don't you know, need those any. Those little extras. like those little like nacho cheese wedges that come with it. Oh. Uh. You know, you don't get those or like you know like halloumi fries or like mozzarella mm. dippers or like Once that. Once in a and blue moon. I will have nuggets on the side of my Big Mac, but and that then put them in, rare. and then you put them in the Big Mac. 
I actually did that in Boston once. I went, I know it was on the ordering menu. It was like, here's a special hack for you. It's a crispy double. It's a double cheeseburger and chicken nuggets. And they come together. And then I ordered it and it gave me a double cheeseburger and crispy nuggets. I would argue that's not a hack. That's two separate things. That's two separate things. Come on, guys. Foul. Cheeky nuggets on the side. Dan, thank you so much for joining us today. The best of luck to you as well. Uh, I know a lot of people are uh, pulling for you, including me. So thank you very, very much. Uh, But he has got stiff competition in form of the stiffest of all the Quizzlemania champions. His name is Tempest, and he is your Quizzlemania champion. Tempo, you arrived to this stream two minutes late. How bloody dare you, sir? Yeah. I sure did. We'll talk about it off air, but it's it's been a time. It's been a time, is it? It it sure has. Apparently, I'm I'm stiff as a horse over here to bring back a, an old <laughs> Tempest ism from the early days over on Russell Two. Uh, Tempest, uh, how has your day been today? Uh, it was bloody lovely, Luke. We did quite a bit of filming of a certain new show that people really seem to like over on Parts Fun Known. Make sure to subscribe in case you want to see more of a potential show that I'm very happy about and very proud of and very much want to see be a, a regular occurrence on this channel. Did a little bit of filming and I had a very good time with it. I mean, we might have even filmed not one, not two. Nope. But maybe even three episodes we got plenty in the can it's not going (laughs) anywhere now people said that you liked it so you better keep liking it that one that pete mentioned on twitter today so we all know what it is (laughs) that one you know you know good one pete good one pete big fecking idiot that he is tempest thank (laughs) you so much for joining us today wonderful to have you uh best of luck in defending your quizzlemania championship uh if you I, no, I do actually, in a way. Um, I, I, I beat you for the championship. I, if you continue your Quizlemania championship, that's fine. I'll just take it off you next month. So it's, it doesn't really matter who it is. Thank you. Love you, bud. If you want to get your thoughts in, you can go over to uh, whatever the web address is to get your Ultra Chats. There's a link for it in the video description down below. Uh, while you're in the mood to click links, though, because you know what? I do bloody love clicking links, me. Um, and when I am clicking links, I'm always clicking ones about Surfshark. Don't just take it from me. Take it from Adam. At Quizlemania, we believe in three things. Wrestlers' nipples, Adam never gets anything wrong as host, and the big business can get their grubby overlord hands off our IP address. And that's why we'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Quizlemania in 2022. Surfshark believes you have the right to privacy when you browse online, freeing you from the burden of targeted ads that keep thinking I'm pregnant for some reason, region lock content like HBO Max, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or unsecured connections when you're out and about doing whatever it is you do. We really honestly don't want to know what it is that you do, you're all disgusting. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in more than 60 countries, all secured with end-to-end encryption. So whether you're Ollie Davis going on your eighth gap year but still wanting to watch UK TV, Luke wanting to protect his computer from malicious websites while he hunts for Godzilla slash fiction, or Pete trying to remain hidden from the Chinese government because of what he did, for legal reasons we can't talk about what Pete did, Surfshark VPN has you covered with its host of technical features. Take control of your internet usage today and try Surfshark VPN whilst also supporting Quizlemania in 2022 by going to surfshark.deal forward slash jam nat jam and enter promo code jam nat jam for 83% off and three months for free. That's surfshark.deal forward slash jam nat jam. Enter promo code jam nat jam for 83% off and three months for free. What a wonderful deal that is. Oh, uh, someone is just holding up a big old picture of me. That'll be Adam, I guess. Adam really did throw me off there. (laughs) (laughs) It's just lying around the office. I think I've got one of Dan here because we use these (laughs) as props for the um, Blood on the Clock Tower shoot. I've got uh, got Ollie. Is it a good one of me? I'm cuter than that guy. I'm so much cuter than that guy. (laughs) I think we're about to find out if it's a good oh, one of you, Dan. Oh, uh, we've got so. Sully's headshot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fabulous. Look at that. Look at that with the hand. Coquetti. Really gorgeous. Ah, hello. Oh, yeah. Everyone. Hello. There he is. It's a classic oh. headshot. That's what happens when I shower. <laughs> it's a classic Dan headshot. <laughs> I didn't realize those were props, Adam. I, I thought they were so, like, you know, we were allowed entry uh, into the building when we were doing, like, you know, almost like a, are you supposed to be here? Well, there's my picture. Let me in. It's uh, it was used for the the lighting technician. So when we said to her, "Put the light on Dan," she could look over and see Dan, not me. 
Dan. <laughs> I Very wish I had my beard. People. I Put I it on the white guy. No, the other one. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Well, they've, they've, all got plain, they've all got plain backs, so I'm going to be using it for paper. Right. So they all look like us. Um, so they, why don't you uh, click the link, surfshark.deals forward slash jam that gem. And also thank you uh, to mod mother Jenna, uh, who has reminded me that it is rustalk.com forward slash PFK to get to your ultra chats read out on the air. Are you ready to play a game, everyone? Yes. We're going to kick things off with an absolute classic is The Price is Shiite. Very simple around this one. Uh, I'm going to show you an item that is available to buy on ebay.co.uk slash com. And you are then going to tell me how much you think that item is worth. The closest to the pin without going over this Price is Right rules will net themselves three big boy points. So is it usually five? Okay, so it's, we will net themselves five big boy <laughs> points. Off to a great start. <laughs> it's been a while, Tempest. Leave me alone. I actually forgot to write down the rules for any of my rounds. I was like, ah, I've got to wing this when I get there. It's only Quizzlemania. Who's trying? Who has some point? <laughs> this is my big shot. How dare you? It's my big day. I haven't even written down anyone's name yet. Um, so yes, you will get five points for your correct answer. Uh, and I've found items that I think are very much in the vein of Luke Owen. So they are things that I might be might be interested in things that I might want to buy, things I may want to own, or just things that are, or just things that I think are just a bit of fun, a bit weird. And we're going to kick things off by looking at. Macho Man's Randy Savage's album, Be a Man. How much would That's you pay for this on eBay in dollar Is that a strong dudes, brow or sunglasses? Uh, I think it's a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Right, fair enough. Confirm dollar dues. A dollar dues, please, absolutely. Uh, it is a, a classic album uh, featuring such tracks as Be a Man, Hogan. Come on, don't be scared. You're running from Macho. That's what I heard. Um, so we'll get some uh, questions down from you, some answers down from you as I read out Virgil Namando's. Actually, no, actually, Virgil, I'm going to save yours because that is, um, it's Love O'Clock. So we'll save that for a, a little bit. Um, actually, no, we will kick off with Virgil. With Adam in the mix, everyone else's chances drastic go down. Rare event here. So here's $1 per month-ish that Adam has been with the company. Reminded to support each other as I've lost two of my childhood heroes this month. Thank you, as always, for you all. Hashtag jam that jam. Virgil, in fact, donated $35 dollar dues which is very, very cool. Thank you so much. And Hannah of the NRB Discord here says, Hi, Adam. Love the bald goatee look. Good luck, Alex. Dan, the guy in the cheap Dan cosplay. And of course, Tempest, because LIW for life. NRB Patreon plug. This week, the Patreon Discord is celebrating its anniversary with games and special guests. So get on board. Fun times ahead. Right, let's get some answers from you all. We'll start off with the man who usually does this. Uh, Adam, what are you saying? Uh, well, fun fact, um, you know how Kurt Angle was in TNA for longer than he was in WWE? Mm -hmm. I've been with WrestleTalk longer than I've been with Rock Culture now. <laughs> have you really? I have, yeah. I was, only, I was only over there for like two and a bit years. Anyway, tree fitty. <laughs> wow, £3.50 or $3.50. <laughs> uh, Alex, what say you? Um, I feel like this album would be in the bottom of the barrel of a Walmart sale. So 15 Fifteen dollars, says Alex Dan Layton. I've I've got maybe gone a bit overboard. I went thirty six. I imagined it was sort of one of those real collectors' items, you know. Dollars <laughs> from Dan <laughs> Tempest. What say you, Alex? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Man. I like that gap. I like that gap. Everybody, oh, come on, Alex. That one cent has really worked out in your favor in coming second in that round because it's actually worth 59 what? 95. No, it's not. It isn't. Yes, it eBay's is lied again. It's out of print. You can't just That's what I was thinking. Anymore. So it's now worth 60 bucks if you want to go buy that on eBay. Just, do I get the points for that? You get the points for that, yes. You, you Unbelievable. That, yeah. 
What a strong what a start. start. Saudi it Arabia 2-1. That's, that's what's beginner's happening here. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Listen, I'll ride the way for as long as I physically can because okay. it is quite literally downhill from here. Very, oh, very yeah. bold um, confirming yourself as the Saudi Arabia of quiz. <laughs> I meant in a footballing sense. Oh. Sure he did. Sure he did, big bud. <laughs> and as STB puts here, it's underpriced. It's worth every <laughs> single penny. No, absolutely not. Uh, speaking of things that are worth every single penny, perhaps the greatest pay-per-view of all time. Uh, backlash on VHS. <gasps> How much would you pay for this uh, in pounds? This is in great English pounds, please, because it has got a wonderful 18 certificates on it there because of, you know, all of the great wrestling with uh, Dean Malenko and Scotty Too Hoddy. Uh, Adam, you and I have reviewed this show over on our Patreon page. It is a banger of a pay-per-view. It is an underrated gem. One of the best main events WWE has ever done. Uh, the Mary Painsville Dan says, hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Let's bring back an old classic, Tempest Reading German. So, uh, Tempest, I'm just going to put this into the private chat for you to have a bang on. There you go. God damn it, Dan. Um... Guten Tag, mein Leiben Freund. Uh, Gunter ist den Nummer eins die Ice Ice Heilig. <laughs> Good as you're getting. I know what Guten Tag means. I, I got that bit. Well, I mean, Finn Brennan's translated for you here. What's the crack, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, finally, watch Grubby Little Mitts today. It was very silly and I loved it. Question, is CM Punk actually good? Seriously considering disposing of my punk shirt. It's a shame, really. I have not. It's been sat in my cupboard, my punk shirt, and I don't know what to do with it now. Sort of wear it. Oh, I, feel, I know. It just feels weird. A little bit. I'm sure it would make like a great cleaning rag. So, do, yeah, do you know what? Of an evening, like you can wear pajamas. Oh yeah, so like in, in my own private Idaho, so no one knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could Donald Donald Duck with it, just wander around the oh, house. Adam, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> with the little shirt, <laughs> like tucked out as a tail as well. No pants around here. <laughs> uh, right, let's Chap get some. Out. Lovely. Let's get some answers from you all. Uh, Tempest, we will start with you first. What say you? Fifty nine ninety nine. Dan Layton. I've gone the other way with this because of the you can get it on the network, so why would you want a VHS? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Alex. Okay, I tried my best to draw the pound symbol. Ninety five. <laughs> hey, That's there it is. Good. That is very good. You nailed that. Oh, thanks. You absolutely <laughs> nailed it. Adam. Jesus, I knew our pound was weak, but I didn't realize it was that weak. 95. Uh, I have donated <laughs> one pound for every year I was alive when I first saw this show. So that is 13 pounds. <gasps> well, I can tell you, one of you is bang on the banana. It is not Alex. It is not Dan. <laughs> It is not Tempest. It <gasps> is Adam Blompier. It is 13. Hey! Yeah. Oh, delightful. <laughs> An absolute steal, if you will. 13 quid will cost you to pick up uh, one of the best pay-per-views ever on a dead format. So <laughs> up next. Uh, Physical media, the... Luke. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> I've been waiting for it to make its comeback. Uh, up next uh, on the docket, perhaps nothing I'm not uh, particularly, I don't want this, but I am always interested in uh, bizarre action figures. And uh, this little one here is a Japanese Hulk Hogan oh. replica poppy figure. This isn't a real one. It's a replica. However, it is a Hulk Hogan rare action figure. So looking for a price from you, please. Uh, confirm boxed. Uh, it is boxed, yes, absolutely. Okay. It is It is as pictured there. But it is, and I'm just going to point out again, a replica. It's not a real one. What's the currency? Uh, that is in dollar dues, please. That is in American dollars. Uh, as Dirty Rich here says, uh, Dirty Rich here, as always, Adam is playing. WTF can be on the line now. Let's shave an obscene object in his hair. Tempest, were you at the WWE show in August of 2021? If so, we took a photo together. Luke, always a pleasure, as always. All of the pigeons jam that jam. Was it you, Tempest? Uh, WWE show in August 2021. No, I don't believe it was me. Does that mean there's people going around to WWE shows saying, oh, hey, I'm Tempest from WrestleTalk, eh? It would take sure a photo seem that me. way. 
<laughs> it would sure seem that way. Oh, oh dear. I don't, uh, I don't even know what, what shows would have been on in August 2021. I guess it was a house show or something, but no. I hadn't been to a WWE show before I went to Raw this summer in, like, years. This person actually got a picture with Rey Mysterio. And they got very confused. <laughs> we look very similar. Yeah, Rey's Canadian, right? <laughs> uh, Adam, Six I'm going to start nine, with... Eh? <laughs> so with you first what say you for this item uh, speaking of japanese hulk hogan does anyone remember that um japanese hulk hogan advert that he's in where the oh, entire yeah. advert is him going sunday monday tuesday thursday <laughs> friday thursday friday saturday sunday comes again and i think it's either for an air conditioner or a baby alarm i'm not sure <laughs> point is 125 smacks 125 dollars uh alex well, since it's a replica, I went 50. 50 bucks. Dan Layton. I uh, I went 45. Tempest. Mm. I've gone the under on this one. 1999. 1999. Adam, can I have a reminder of what yours is again? Hundy, tundy, fundy. Hundy, oh my God, you're so far off, Adam. Yeah, yeah, However, yeah, you yeah. are the closest to it, though, because this is remarkably, even though it is a replica, worth $116.65. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, okay. There you go. Four. <laughs> you're welcome. points everyone. was that? Not mine. Was that? I, went, I went over. Uh, oh, yeah. actually, do you know what? I've actually shown you the uh, the wrong price there. Do apologize. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ruined how my much is, Adam. <laughs> how much is the thing worth? It's actually worth 575 bucks. <laughs> so oh, hey, I got the points. <laughs> this is why I said you got the points there, Adam. You were right, so I'm far away, be... but still the closest. 575 so that... pounds? Dollars? Yeah, Did you for a most... replica? Yeah, for a replica. Do you know what the most annoying thing is? It was from item what? I was really excited about, which was WWF Aggression on CD. Uh, I was really excited hundred... to tell you all that that's that is worth $116.65. That was going to be my that big end reveal. Great. It's just, what an album. So anyway, won't be doing that one. You're welcome, Physical everyone. Medium. A shame. <laughs> Uh, but that is five points there to Adam, who is now running away with it. Which means we've only got one more item left on the docket today. And it is, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, boxed in mint condition. WWF WrestleMania Challenge on the Nintendo Entertainment System with a 9.0 rating. That's pretty good. That's almost perfect. It's almost perfect, right? That is basically mint condition. How this much? Such though? a Luke Owen round. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome, everyone. Um, oh, man. S. Morgan has still got his copy of Aggression. Well done. Because um, it's awesome. That's why. Um, okay. Is let's this dollars again? This is in dollar dues. Yes, please. Uh, Harriet Manka says, hey, everyone. Thank you as always for your work and entertainment this year. I have a question for you all. What do you want for Christmas? Take care. Jam that jam. Uh, quick fire. Adam, what would you like for Christmas this year? God of War Ragnarok. Alex. Xbox. Tempest. <laughs> Blood on the Clock Tower. Dan. Uh, sort of just like dinner with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Damn, that's what my answer was going to be. Um, uh, yeah, I am hoping for all oh, guys a new set of pans. I'm quite <gasps> excited about it. New set Get of pans. La Cruze. Honestly, like, oh no, ooh, I've, 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 had, I've had La Cruze pants, mate. They're not worth it. That's not true. Well, La Cruze pot like your cruise like oh, kind of casserole oh, dish you are... uh, well, yeah i mean you want a casserole dish well, no, don't get me wrong get an always pan always pans are the best i've got one of the selena pan. gomez ones uh I, I think so if it's got selena gomez's like likeness on it then it that's even more legit always murders uh, in the they, building do, they, they fall down mm, do they what i'm down? thinking of maybe different pans you might be thinking of different are you, are you thinking of Pants? What are you? No, the, the, it's like a pan that you can you can change it. It's like it's like a transformer, but a pan. What is it? I know what I'm talking about. It may have been I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do some research uh, later, and I'll. I'll all right. <laughs> Did you <laughs> dream this? Is this like Skittlebrow? <laughs> Very possible. Yeah. <laughs> If Dan ends up losing this round of quiz or mania, it's because he stops paying attention to the quiz and just starts <laughs> googling pan that transforms. Selena Gomez pan. 
<laughs> Tempest, I'm going to come to you first. Can I have a price, please? $599.99. Ah, That's big, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Layton, stop your Googling. So, but no, but like, she, there's Latina Gomez with the always pan. <laughs> Is that the... Okay. Yeah, that, that's an always pan. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Anyway. It doesn't um, adjust, though. <laughs> it's not, it might it's not, do. It's not like a standard <laughs> stair lift. It doesn't just go up and down. <laughs> but I would like a pan that did. So if Selena's watching, if you could sort of make that happen. Um, £180. I also okay. got a mysterious one right there where... I don't know what that was called. Um... <laughs> that looks like five Alex. points to me. $650. $650. Adam. Five hundred doll hairs. Oh, so we've got some. Can in fact, can uh, we have them all held up to the screen, please? So we can see who our winner is. We've got five hundred from Adam, six fifty from Alex, six hundred from Tempest, and one eighty. I can confirm that one of you has got some points, and that person is Alex, Queen of the Ring. Hey, this oh is my worth God! One thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. He'd buy it. <laughs> he sure would. <laughs> Look at that guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially when it's graded, it's just so much more. Exactly, that right? Yeah. That guy would buy as well. X. Yeah. Yeah, or that just emulate it. should have just... Our guesses should have been way higher. <laughs> <laughs> what does nine mean? It, was it means ten. it is almost... Yeah, it is almost as per in perfect a condition as possible. Right. A 10 out of 10 is like cannot be in better condition... You get literally like if the corner is slightly dinged or mm -hmm. if the image is slightly off center, those are all things that bring it down, you know, things like that. Or even if it's like yellowed a little bit, especially with comic books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I thought it was just like, this game is like nine out of 10. Really like it. <laughs> it's like a review. I'd have score. gone higher if I knew what that meant. <laughs> you live and learn, um, don't you? Although you can literally just go onto Google, type in WWF WrestleMania Challenge NES emulation, and bang, away you go. You're probably able to play it on your phone. So, and that's way cheaper than by dropping 1400 bucks. Anywho, uh, the end of that round in last place with Nil Poir. It is your current champion, Tempest. <gasps> In joint second place with five points each, it is Dan and Alex, but in the lead with 10 points, it is Adam Lompier. But things can always change on a dime as we get into our next round. Now, this is a round I believe that has been on the show before, but I have altered it ever so slightly. It is a round that is called <laughs> It's All About the Game. <laughs> One Adam, of my better the... photoshops. It's honestly genius. Uh, what was the original version of this round? I will say as well, that is giving me like, hot... that's again reminded me that I've shaved too close because I do feel like I've got a little bit of the Triple H 2003 fat face going on. Um, <laughs> sorry, what was the question? What was the original version of this round? Th this it literally screenshots from games. What game is it? Oh, well, in fact, actually, this one is very, very similar then because I'm going to show you a Stone Cold Stunner from a video <gasps> game. And I want you to tell me what video game that Stone Cold Stunner is oh, from. Oh, Luke, very good. Thank I watched a compilation of these about a week ago. <gasps> Did you really, Dan? Yeah. You might have seen where I got my inspiration from. Watch me completely fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Tyler, of your sex tape. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> I'm going to write the answers to these on the back of Dan's head. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Because I am a Stone Cold Stunner. That's oh, it. You, you cracked my Enigma hey. code. Here is your first Stone Cold Stunner. If you want them played again, I will show them again. But here is your first Stone Cold Stunner. Oh. Would anyone like to see it again? Yes. I mean, please. Next. Oh, Dan, bang straight in there. Hello. But it might How's be wrong. Because <laughs> two of them look quite similar. <laughs> so I'll give you all just a couple of minutes there while well I'm going to give you a couple of minutes you don't need that long to do it uh, just while I also uh, load in the image because apparently it's disappeared on me oh, no. um, I know in fact actually some of the process shite stuff disappeared as well which is why I got all flustered um, <laughs> Adam can I have your answer please uh, Dan is right I think it's between one of two I've gone with WWF Attitude Alex I went with Wrestlemania 2000 Tempest. 
I went with WWF Warzone. Who fuck Dan Layton. That's the other one, but I'm pretty certain this is its attitude. You are correct if it's one of the two. And it was a WWF attitude yeah, on the PlayStation. That will be three points each to the I had that one. of you. So did I. Uh, so that is three points to Adam and to Dan. Would you like another Stone Cold Stunner? Please. Go on then. Stone Cold Stunner! Stone Cold! Hmm. Would you like it again? Yes, yes, yes. please. Stone Cold Stunner! Stone Cold! Will the commentary track help you out there? Will the graphics help you out? Will any of the detail help you out there? Um, I feel we're all much bit... more confident in this one. <laughs> well, I'm going to read out. Um, I'm going to leave Van Twin Blades because that is where we get to love o'clock. We'll save that for a little bit later on. Eddie Pat 14 says, hello, everyone, especially you, Dan. Like, I was expecting you to come after Tempest Quizzlemania Championship. Oh, well. Petition to call Quizzlemania 69, Quizzlemania 60. Nice. As always, jam that jam. Right. Let's get some answers from you. Dan, can I have you first, please? I've gone with Legends of WrestleMania. Tempest. Legends of WrestleMania. Alex. Okay. The WrestleMania sign behind them was not was an older WrestleMania. So, yeah. Legends of WrestleMania. Ale Maybe. And Adam. Well, I feel Bobbins. WWE SmackDown versus Raw <laughs> 2010. <laughs> oh, Adam. Can you believe oh, that you Adam. absolutely nailed this? No, you're doing you right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was actually <laughs> Adam. Three points for everyone apart from Adam. Boo! Yeah, yeah. Well, do you know what, Adam? What is funny, though? That was going to be one of the options, uh, and then I took it out. So, Tempest, you're now on the board. Oh, oh is that Tempest. his first point? Oh, welcome, Tempest. <laughs> hey! Hey, I, I, I'm playing too. Hey, Show up late <laughs> all over the show today. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Uh, right, <laughs> here we go. Would you like another Stone Cold Stunner? Please. Here it is. Ooh. Would you like it again? Yeah. Didn't games just rock more back in the day? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> just so mad. Mad, 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 stunner. Mad, 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 knockout. Great stuff. You are so easily wooed by something, just as long as it's old. We were, we were, playing, Mario, we were playing Mario Kart today, and Luke's like, I don't know any of these levels. These are all new. What's this anti-gravity option? Not in my Mario Kart. And then he saw the F-Zero level, and he's like, that looks dead good, that. <laughs> the Excite Bike Arena really That's threw you off. I'll be honest, that was the one that got me, that was the one that got my uh, my dick hard first, was the Excite Bike <laughs> Arena. <laughs> said, so like, only now, you. <laughs> it was like, now we're talking. Excite Bike, now we're talking my era. <laughs> and I still came last. Um because I'm very bad at the game. It's too busy. It's too busy and the controllers are too small. He had the uh, he had the switch controller and he was like like if it if it's like this, you know you know you normally hold it like this. He was holding yeah. it like this. <laughs> it's so <laughs> small. How else are you supposed to hold it? It's so small. Uh Adam, can I have an answer from you, please? Oh, it's one of them, isn't it? So I've taken a punt with SmackDown Know Your Role. Not I almost went with Shut Your Mouth, but uh, I've gone with <laughs> Know Your Role. Alex. Um, the first Smackdown. So Smackdown, Smackdown one. number one. Yeah. Tempest. WWF Smackdown one. Oh, come on, it's not number Dan one, Layton. is it? I am pretty certain because of the Mick Foley-ness of it all that it is the first Smackdown. Oh, no, no, no. Adam, can you believe it? You got it right. It was from <laughs> Smackdown <laughs> 2. No, no, no. It was yeah. that or the, the lack of SmackDown logo on the ring. Those are the two details. I was like, which one is it? Ugh. Three points there to Adam. Well done, you, sir. Woo! Would you like another Stone Cold Stunner? Yes, please. How about this one, emphasize? Oh, 
which now, one? Now I will say. Now I will say that commentary track is not from the uh, their game. Someone has put that commentary track over it. Yeah, for sure. But what game is it from? Lovely stuff. Uh, we'll have a, I'll have a quick look at the old chat, see what people are saying there. People are very much enjoying this one. While Astro Graham says, you guys are the reason why I got into wrestling during the pandemic. This is my first time watching Quizlemania live. So thank you for all that you do. Jam that gem. Keep up the great content from Graham. Oh, thank you, Graham. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and Chloe of the Cookies here says, hey, guys, do any of you watch Stardom? Alongside yes. Alex Church of Joshi for Life. <laughs> Alex, who yes. is your favorite? I discovered it back in January of this year and it reignited my love of wrestling. Great to see women's wrestling done right. Have a great show. So Chloe asks, who's your fave? Ooh, okay. So I do love Oedo Tai all across the board. That is my favorite faction from Stardom. But my favorite overall would be Konami. I love Konami. So yeah. um, <laughs> right. Alex, oh, actually, while we're on you. What's your answer? Okay, so the anniversary of this game was recent, a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go with No Mercy. No Mercy. Adam? So I thought it could be No Mercy, but the font on the word special made me think it was older. I think it's WrestleMania 2000. Mm. Tempest. I also like Utami Hayashi Shida. She's, she's my favorite. Oh, Fantastic. The best. WWF No Mercy is what I've gone with. Dan. Once again, I was torn. It was either this or WrestleMania 2000, but I've gone with No Mercy. Oh, it's only Adam that's gone different. Adam, can you believe it? <laughs> it's No Mercy <laughs> on the end. Yeah! <laughs> Points all that's around cool. everyone but Adam. Oh, so, damn it. <laughs> Three points there. Three points there. No, I don't know what to believe. I played this game so much. I genuinely, this was one of the only games that made me throw my controller across the room in frustration. There was one bit in the story mode where it branched and you had to beat both of the acolytes in a two-on-one handicap match. And I couldn't fucking do it. And <laughs> Will Adam got very cross. Did you I, break um, the controller? I broke the wind, uh, the mirror that was embedded in my wardrobe. Oh! <laughs> But the so N64 controller survived because you, you can't grounded. break it. My friend totally wants to an N64 out of a window and it survived. It what? literally crashed onto the street below. Why? And he picked up stairs and like it all completely like smashed to pieces. Took it upstairs, plugged in, worked fine. On purpose? What? Oh yeah, he was because he was super stressed out at a game uh, that he Which unplugged one? it and threw it out of the window. Donkey Kong 64. I, <laughs> that one. I was there. gonna guess that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a frustrating game. game. Oh, cool. Just He's the leader of the bunch. He launched yes. out the window. Well, he was he was had enough of that bunch. He wanted to punch that bunch. Is what he wanted to do. Um, <laughs> are you ready for your last Stone Cold Stunner of the day? Please. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Got it. Ooh. Bang, right in there. <laughs> Would any I game that came out the decade? I was playing games. Yes, I would, would like anyone to like see that again. again. One more. And done with a great sense of style as I also particularly like that they've censored Steve Austin doing the middle fingers, so he's actually just doing this. <laughs> Give you notes at the start. Just watch it. Ooh, oh, I'll have your rock. Come here, Dwayne. Uh, Adam, would you like a bit more time? Uh, no, I've got something written down. I just don't know if it's right. I know, I know it's something around this, but I don't know the exact title, so I'm hoping you'll okay. be lenient with me. Well, Adam, what have you written down? <sighs> it's not this. It's something like this. WWE All-Stars. Oh, I can't Alex. remember what it is. I remember probably getting a demo of this in the oh. Xbox 360. I also went with All-Stars. You can't really see it. There you go. All-Stars. Tempest. WWE All-Stars. Dan? Yeah, uh, I don't want to play this one. I said <laughs> WWE 12. <laughs> 
I hand. knew it, I couldn't think of that one. He went for a Hail Mary and it did not pay off. It is <gasps> WWE All Stars there on the PlayStation 3. Adam, that is three points to you. Alex, that is three points to you. And Tempest, three points to you. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, that is actually the end of that round, but I've got a little bonus thing for you here. So, uh, anyone who knows me, Dan and Adam, you'll know this. I bloody love a bit of nostalgia, me. I love anything from the 90s. I do a podcast about the 90s, about a TV show from the 90s. TV show called Games Master that uh, had video game challenges, but it also had video game reviews. So, I have got a clip here from Games Master, Series 5, Episode 5, reviewing WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game on the PlayStation. What a My game it game. is. Favorite I'm going to play the review, and then I'm going to ask each of you to write down what you think the percentage score is. Uh, the person who is closest to the pin, um, without going over, will net themselves three points. But if you get it bang on, I will give you five. Ooh. How's that sound? The percentage of the review? The that... percentage of the review, yeah. They just have okay, an overall okay. score. And it's so, out of 100. Out of 100, like, like most good percentages. Uh, here <laughs> is the review. The World Wrestling Federation is living proof that unpopular kids at school never grow up. They simply put on tights and a mask and fight blokes in rings. This PlayStation version, though, looks to be the first of any good. The reason it's been doing so well is because it has huge digitized sprites and also because it uses an abundance of special moves usually associated with games like beat-em-up. It also features all the current superstars of World Wrestling Federation. But it's also got Doink the Clown, whose special move is to thwack your opponent quite mercilessly with a huge hammer that, he app that appears in his hand at certain points. So even if you don't like the World Wrestling Federation, you think it's all a bit fake, all a bit choreographed, you're probably going to find this game a whole lot more real and a whole lot more fun. Can I just mm. say, yes. I am obsessed with Rick Henderson. And his little <laughs> 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 That's well, I yet. thought this game was like this. I didn't need a second take from you, Rick. That was perfect. Oh, oh. That is quintessential Games Master there. We've only got one time. Got time for one take. <laughs> if you fuck it, that's your fault. <laughs> So, uh, write down your percentage scores, uh, and then we will have uh, an answer from you all. Uh, Alice Gammon there saying this will get uh, copyright. Eh, it won't. No one cares about Games Master, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Adam, what say oh, no. you? Well, for the digitalized sprites alone, I'm going 85. 85%. Alex? Okay, I was just finishing it up. 90%. 90%. Tempest. 85%. Oh, <laughs> Dan. I, I thought that while they were being positive, they were still being a little bit snippy. So I went with 70%. Well, I said I would give you three points if you were closest to, and I would give you five if you were banging the banana. Here is the percentage score. <laughs> Ninety-two percent, everyone. Very nice. Wow, that will it be is, three it points. It is the greatest wrestling video game, and that is solely my opinion because I actually won this video game against my older brothers. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this is my favorite. Plus. <laughs> and and there was an arcade. Uh, no, actually, there was a pizzeria near me when I grew up, and they had that arcade, and we would go there all the time. I love this game so much. It is wonderful because it's basically Mortal Kombat, but wrestling, exactly. and it's awesome. Exactly, and the behind-the-scenes footage of Shawn Michaels doing the bits, oh, it's great. Also, it's great. Wait, did the review begin with the unpopular kids at school never grew up, they put on tights? <laughs> and a that's mask. <laughs> and a mask. Yeah, fighting, then some fighting words. Hey, that's me. <laughs> it, see, look, literally, he sat right here. I'm in my pants, Tempest is in a mask, and we just crew up. Here we go with our next round. In fact, actually, Josh, shall I give you some scores on the doors? Um, yeah, in last place, with nine points, it is Tempest. In third place, with 14, it's Dan Layton. In second place, with 17, it's Alex. In first place, with 19 points, it's Adam Blompier. So it's only a two-point lead, everyone. <laughs> All could change with another brand new round here. And I'm calling this round Order, Order. Order. 
Or dare. Or d'oeuvres. This is a, uh, a fun little round. At least I hope you're going to find it a fun little round. So I'm going to ask you a wrestling-based question, and you're going to buzz in and tell me what the answer is. Sounds simple, right? If I was to ask you who was the first WWE champion, you might say... Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. However, because this is order, order, I require the answer in alphabetical order. Oh, so it is Luke. Boy Buddy Nature Rogers. Or Buddy uh, Rogers. <laughs> Would that no, no. work? No, no. I, I, if, if you've got a nickname like that, you need to oh, have Jesus the nickname Christ. in there as well. And it is fastest finger on the buzzer as well. So you've got to know your answer and you've got to know the order in which you say it. The order, and I will not have a lot of hesitation in this either. I want you to give me an answer. Is this the one I you made up with Sullivan now. that you weren't sure about? No, no, oh no, Adam, that one's still to come. This one's fine. <laughs> this one I've got no worries about whatsoever. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Y yes. yes. Here sure. Is your, here's your first question. Remember, your buzzer is your name. If you're right, I will give you three points. Here's your first question. Bought the WWF Championship in 1988. Adam. Adam. That is a hesitation. Oh, Adam, 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 that is a Adam, that is a hesitation. Dan. Dan. Dibiase, dollar, man, million, the. Ted. <laughs> Tempest. Dan. Tempest. He can't. He can't. Tempest. No. Have some, have some shame. Dibiase, dollar, man, Million Ted the Tempest. I will give you the points there because uh, I was actually the, the I wouldn't have counted anyway. But Tempest, what? unfortunately, well because because you paused, Dan. You didn't say Ted. You paused and then anyway. This game is already hurting my head. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, this it is, is cruel. Million dollar man Ted. Like if a quiz <laughs> broke its leg. Kicked I... <laughs> <laughs> me off the raw of you. Now you're kicking me out of the points. Also, Tempest needs the points, everyone. He's the champion. He's the main character. <laughs> and here's your next question. What does APA stand for and isn't always pounding ass? Adam. Adam. A Acolyte Agency Protection. Is the correct answer, Adam. That is three points for you because Thank it is called you. the Acolytes Protection <laughs> Agency. <laughs> I think it does stand for always pounding ass. It does always. It does also stand for that, of course. Always yeah. ass pounding. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. That's how you play the game. Uh, here the is game. your next one. Lost the WWF Tag Team Championships to Cactus Jack and Terry Funk at WrestleMania 14. Dan. Dan. Age outlaws Nero fucked it. Nope, that's wrong. Adam. Tempest. That was Tempest. Age new outlaws. Age New Outlaws is the correct answer. Of course, Welcome, Tempest. That's six points I've handed you on a platter. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. It's a season of giving, after all. No, it isn't. Not anymore. Not anymore. My brain is working. <laughs> I've got a lot yeah, of problems with my, my, my brain right now. My brain's not quick enough for this. <laughs> okay, up next. Won the WWF Championship at WrestleMania 14. Adam. Alex. Adam. Oh. Austin Cold Steve Stone. Austin Cold Steve Stone is he the correct a while over that. Oh, know, was, shut up, I was Dan. Being All the words being were connected. A bit <laughs> lenient there. Stone Cold Steve Austin is, of course, the correct answer. That is three points there for Adam. Like this, the lightning fast round, that's what I wanted. Uh, right, up next for you, the three faces of Foley. Alex. Alex. Okay, that's too much of a hesitation, Alex. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Let her play. Uh, <laughs> Alex, oh go my on, give gosh. Me okay. Cactus. <laughs> Do I, I rescind oh, my charity. Oh, no. Alex, Alex, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tempest. Tempest has buzzed in. Cactus, dude, <laughs> Jack, love, mankind. Is the correct answer. Cactus, dude, Jack, love, mankind. I can't think that fast. <laughs> the cactus, Jack, dude, love, and mankind. You are a cleanup machine, Tempest. <laughs> You're an ambulance chaser. You just follow us around <laughs> as we have our little accidents. And you scoop up the mess. Disgusting. It's working, though. Okay. Uh, up next. Was knocked out of brawl for all by Bart Gum, but was supposed to win the whole thing. 
Adam. Oh. Adam. <laughs> Death, Dr. Steve oh, Williams. Please. Death, Dr. Steve Williams is the correct answer there. Dr. Death, Steve Williams, everyone. Oh, well done. I wasn't sure who it was. Another three points there for Adam. Okay, here is your next one. Won the 1987 King of the Ring. Oh. I'm only 1989. Okay, hang on a second. All right, well, because it's got a lot of names. Uh, Adam. Adam. Um, Macho Man Randy Savage. It's actually the correct answer, yeah. That was, I just thrown as a curveball there for you. It is just in the correct order. That, <laughs> that was, is I, 87, I did not, I, did, I thought it was, I thought it was later than that. Uh, up next, won the 1988 Royal Rumble. Tempest. Adam. Tempest. Duggan Hacksaw Jim. Is the correct answer. Of course, it was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> so that is three points there for Tempest. You know, when you work, like when you do the thing where you kind of just like you put a stake in the ground and you just run around with your head on it and then you're <laughs> yeah, completely you banjacked. Yeah. I feel it just feels like that. I feel disoriented. I feel sick. Because you have to okay. think of the answer and then you have to think of the order. I know. I can't do the alphabet. Yeah. Bit fun, Me neither. <laughs> It's a bit of fun, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, remember, I don't like thus. Uh, had his last match this year, teaming with his son-in-law, Andrade. Adam. Dan. Dan. Boy, nature. What? Nope. Pollocks. Adam. <laughs> Boy, Adam, Flair, go. nature, Rick. Is the correct answer. Boy, Flair, nature, Rick. Of course, nature boy, Rick Flair. That is another three points there for Adam. <laughs> I Dan, like I, threw you, I threw you a bone there, bud. Uh, <laughs> you did. I, I, I threw him a bone. I, I came in before him. I uh, came in twice before you guys. And both times I was shafted, like a shafty thing. <laughs> you, well, you, you, you handed a polite note to Tempest with the answer written on it. And then <laughs> scraped, <laughs> scraped your knee and bowed and backed out of the room. <laughs> All right, here is your last one for this round. Oh, no man. showed Quizzlemania 7. <laughs> Adam. Adam. Jose, no way. Jose, no way is the correct answer. No way, Jose. No showed Quizzlemania 7. It's another three. Never got him back. For scheduling Adam. conflict. What was a scheduling conflict? Scheduling the conflict was gosh. he didn't show up. Um, that is the end of that round. Just you know, I'm I'm just curious. Did anyone enjoy the round? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Do you know that? Do you know that one video of the cat that's like doing that? That was my brain. That was just was, was playing in my brain the whole round. I Dad liked enjoyed it. that round on a car ride between you and I in a competitive format with internet lag. I want to run away. <laughs> Dan, do you think we'll play that uh, game when we launch our channel where we go around the UK reviewing different service stations? I think it's important that we do, Luke. Yeah, absolutely. It's our, it's our big pitch for 2023. Huge, huge, huge. Is me and Dan reviewing UK service stations. What's the best one in the UK that you've been to? Uh, Oxford. <sighs> Welcome break. Uh, it is good. Um, uh, Reading uh, Eastbound is, is very good. Uh, there's one loves a bit of south mims oh i mean on the m4 m4 is just like chock full it's just banger after banger on the which is the one that's sort of built (laughs) into a hill it just looks out over this gorgeous kind of glade and it's sort of like like you know like um frodo bangers house it's sort of just like built into a hillside it's absolutely delightful it's between london and edinburgh somewhere i've stopped (laughs) what what is what is what is that a serving station a a service station so it's like um, a a fancier truck shop uh a truck stop i would imagine so basically we be like on our motorways we just have you can go get a Greg's or a it's like a little Oscar. retail park for yeah, weary like drivers. Park there, yeah. Okay. You, you I off, love Greg's. Wee. I oh, love what's Greg's. Your, the sausage what's your, rolls. Your, is that is that what your Greg's order of choice is? Like, I do like the vegan sausage rolls. Mm-hmm. It's good. Those are it's good. good. Yeah. yeah. I would like very, very the vegan steak bake filling inside regular pastry. But of course, really, I mean, Danny's Danny's on the money here. T Bay, it's, you know, it's, it's the best services. <laughs> I mean, Lee Delamere is a corker. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Ali. Oh, bless you, Abby <laughs> Payne. It's like you can't corker. go wrong with D- Le- D- Lee Delamere. Lovely stuff. This whole comment section is going to be accidental partridge. 
It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I live my life by. Uh, scores on the doors after that round. In last place with 14 points, it is Dan J. Layton. The fall from grace continues. In uh, third place with 17 points, it is Alex, Queen of the Ring. In second place with 21, it is Tempest. In first place, with 37. What? It is Adam Blombier. <laughs> what? Fucking step up, boys. I've been in this game too long. <laughs> um, okay. Well, shall we have... I've got a couple of rounds to play here. Do I want to play my new rounds? No, I'm still nervous about it. So we'll play an absolute classic if I can find the thing. One minute warning. Oh, yay! I've never no. played it! Oh, <laughs> I'm so gonna lose this trophy! <laughs> One minute warning. For me, Luke. <laughs> One minute warning for those of you who have not played uh, One Minute Warning. It is a game where I will ask all of you individually to talk about a wrestling subject that I give you. You have to talk about that subject for one minute without repetition hesitation or adam deviation from the subject deviation from the subject so there are certain words obviously you can the and uh things like that you can obviously repeat things like that but i will not allow repeating of other words you can however repeat words that are in the subject itself adam i'm in fact going to ask you to play this game first because you um i mean as the inventor of this game no one else had this format before uh you did. <laughs> it was me i did it no one's ever heard of just a minute fuck you nope. if you have absolutely they have not uh i'm going to give you one minute on the clock to please talk about why Backlash 2000 is the best WWF pay-per-view ever. Are you ready? Fingers on the buzzers if you do think that Adam uh, hesitates, deviates, or has any repetition. I'll be keeping an ear out for it as well. Adam, your time starts in three, two, one, go. One of the very first VHSs that this guy ever owned was Backlash 2000. One of the most underrated paper. Tempest with it. Uh, repetition of one. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think it's that borderline, is fair. But yep, it's fair. I will give that to you. Tempest, you now have control of the board and you have 46 seconds to talk about why Backlash 2000 is the best WWF pay per view ever. Three, two, one, off you go. Backlash 2000 is the best WWF pay-per-view ever because of matches like Dean Malenko versus Scotty Too Hotty. One that needed to be added to Adam Blompier's list of greatest backlash matches as an honorable mention. Uh, because Adam, he Adam. Didn't... Adam buzzed in. Repetition of matches. I will give you that, absolutely. Adam, you are back in control. You have 25 seconds to talk about why Backlash 2000 is the best WWE have you ever. Three, two, one, off you go. But enough talking about the gristle. Let's get down to the meat. Why this show is so brilliant. And that is its main event of the evening. Stone Cold Steve Austin returning for one night only to help Triple H. No, he didn't help that guy. Dan. Hunter Hearst Helm. Dan, 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 Dan has Dan. paused in. Dan has paused in. Repetition of the word help. And also, I would also accept the de uh, hesitation as well. And, and then some deviation in deviation there as well. From the world. Oh, God, you idiot boy. <laughs> uh, Dan, you have got four seconds on the clock to tell no. me why Backlash 2000 is the best WWE pay per view ever in three, two, one. Backlash 2000 is the best WWF pay per view ever simply. And time. <laughs> yes. Ah, what yes. was that about hoovering at the end? <laughs> Making it back up. The old strategy of repeat the subject matter slowly. <laughs> it was oration. I learned it at drama school that I didn't go to. That is five points there for young Daniel. So well done, Dan, for four seconds' work. <laughs> um, Tempest, I'll have you up next, my boy, uh, as you oh, boy. tell me about... Raven in the WWF. <laughs> you have one minute on the clock if I can unlock my phone to tell me all about Raven in the WWF uh, in three, two, one, off your pop. 
Raven in the WWF was massively disappointing because rather than making him the cool character he was in ECW, he was instead a homeless man, as said by Luke Owen, whose favorite wrestler is Raven, but not Raven in the WWF, Raven in ECW, where he was Adam. much better. Adam. Repetition of ECW, please. Sure was. Ah. Adam, you now have control of the board. You have 35 seconds on the clock. Tell me all about Raven in the WWF, please. In three, two, one, off you go. Fun fact, in the WWF was the only wrestling company that Raven wrestled in for a long time without any form of cult. His flock, his nest, etc. Serotonin. That's another one. However, he did make a home for himself on Sunday Night Heat, where he was building towards a magnum opus built around the seven deadly sins, which we know to be pride, sloth, <laughs> wrath, envy, gluttony, and two others, greed, and I can't remember the last one. But I that's cannot fine. believe any of you did not buzz in for deviation because it was 100% deviating from the subject. What do you mean? No, I, I argue that that's, that's colour. That's adding in yeah. info. Yeah. That, is, that is huge yeah. deviation. Disgusting. How dare you? I've never been slandered so, so much in my life. <laughs> that is five points there. I would say undeservedly so. Last. <laughs> last was the last one. Last was the last one. Forgot Huge about that. deviation. Uh, I'd have been on that like white on rice. Um, <laughs> Alex, would you like to have a go next? I think my brain is still off from the last round. So let's give it a go. Let's, let's give it a go. go. Could you please tell me a subject that is very close to my heart? New metal music <laughs> and wrestling. <laughs> In okay. three, two, one. Off you go. New metal music is the best to ever exist in any genre of the radio waves. And early 2000s definitely showed that with Limp Biscuits contribute con collaboration <laughs> with <laughs> the that was Undertaker. A, that was a buzz in there, wasn't it, Dan? Was there a buzz, was there, a buzz there? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, it's all I going. said my name. Oh, oh Tempest, Tempest, Tempest. I would say that's a hesitation. I would say but... that's a hesitation. Uh, right no, there. it was a slip up. My my mouth works faster than my brain. <laughs> Tempest, you have 33 seconds. Tell me all about new metal music and wrestling in three, two, one. Off you go. New metal music and wrestling go together like peanut butter and pickles. A great combination, if you ask me. There were plenty of examples of new metal music being used in wrestling throughout the early 2000s with bands like Limp Bizkit, bands like Seether, Adam. and other... Adam. Adam. Adam with the buzz in there first. Uh, repetition of bands like. Correct. Um... Uh, I will. I mean, I should, you should also get points for your know, correct things as well. Oh no, it's you get do get a point for a correct challenge, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, if you have someone's an incorrect challenge, they you you get a point for someone interrupting. Yeah. Well, I haven't done that. Sorry. Oh, um... neat. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a huge that's a huge amount of points, Luke. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, well, Adam, a huge amount of points coming your way because you've got 12 seconds to tell me all about new metal music and wrestling. Three, two, one, off you go. If there's one thing that the internet knows about Adam Blompier is that he loves his new metal. Is he the only person that thought Woodstock 99 was better than the original? Alex. Dad, your time. Ah. <laughs> and I would have probably had some deviation there as well. This is Dad's about Woodstock 99. I said mine, 99. <laughs> I said mine too. It did, oh. but unfortunately it came in as the buzzer went. But I would have given it to you as well. Uh, that is another five points there for Adam. Uh, oh, he's running away with it. I'm sorry. I'm sweating. He's just got a more booming voice. He gets there first, you see. It's more more confident. We need to be less <laughs> timid. Dan, I've You're got so one meek, more. Dan. That's what I'm I famously like. meet. The infamously shy Dan Layton. That's what they all say about me. One more round for you, my friend. Uh, and it is your subject. Can you please tell me about for one minute... The invasion in three, two, one, off you go. I was but a boy of 11 in the year of our Lord 2001 when Vince McMahon's WWF was Adam. invaded. Adam. 
uh, repetition of W. <sighs> That's how the game works. Come it is how, it is unfortunately how the game works. You're gonna do about it. You're gonna do fucking nothing. Is what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's unfair as well, Dan, but those are the rules. Human, man. Adam, you have uh, 49 seconds on the clock, please, to tell me all about the invasion. Three, two, one, off you go. One of the biggest drop balls in the history of professional wrestling, although I will say this, name me a better ECW owner than Stephanie McMahon. Love the hat. Uh, the invasion was an angle that ran for several months and involved way too many title changes. Involved, for some reason... Tempest. The... Tempest with a buzz in. Repetition of involved. Yeah, that's fair. He did use involved. Also, you could have had hesitation when he said, um... But, you know, uh, you, yeah. you do you. <laughs> you do you, but I want to run uh, off as many seconds from the clock so I don't have to talk for as long. <laughs> this is a strong strategy. Oh, it's mine, too. Smart. Very Big smart. Big brain play right there. You have 27 <laughs> seconds, please, to tell me about the invasion in three, two, one. Off you go. The Invasion was one of the pay-per-views that W World Wrestling Entertainment <laughs> was... Alex! <laughs> Alex! <laughs> Alex, <laughs> please. Yes, Alex! Hesitation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's 100% Stumbling you because he along. absolutely stumbled over that. <laughs> the W <laughs> World <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> Alex, uh. you have 18 seconds on the clock, please, to tell me about the Invasion in 3, 2, 1. Off you go. The invasion was a lovely time for Eric Bischoff, I am sure, with his involvement with a brand new company that is WWF. And Adam. I'm sure it was <laughs> And lovely. I had Dan there first. I believe, if I'm not wrong, that might have been a repetition of W. <laughs> <laughs> and I, as, as far as I understand, that's that's allowed in the game. You that's sunk. like the most I've talked in this game, in this round. <laughs> <laughs> The real win is you having to sink to my level. <laughs> you brought me down with you. Like the and Joker you know broke Harvey Dent. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. And Dan, you have just but four seconds on the clock. Oh, oh it's a bollocks. God damn. Dan, four seconds on the clock. Tell me about the invasion. Three, two, one, off you go. When World Championship Wrestling's Booker T slammed through the There you go. Table. There it is. That is five points there Ooh. to Dan. Well oh, done. I'm bad at this. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this. I didn't I'm even try. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well done, everyone. I had fun. So I hope you did too. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Running it's, it's actually quite nice being the host, you know. It's men, yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Would you like some scores? Yes. Uh, in last place with 17 points, it is Alex, your queen of the ring. In third place with 21, it is Tempest. <gasps> in second place with 24, it is Dan. However, in first place with 47 points, Damn. it is Adam <laughs> Blompier. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Now, got a choice here. Would you like to play a classic Oh, I don't know. I want to just try, test out my new game. New game. New, new game. game. New, new game. game. New, new game. game. Okay. game. Right. New we will play. Game. We'll certainly play one round of this. If it works, we'll play another round. But there's every chance this doesn't work. Um, Adam, I may also need some assistance from you because you know this game very well. American Wear Words. <laughs> what? How is this going to work? <laughs> what? Have we all played the game Wear Words? Nope. No. Yes. No. So, Wear Words is a game I will give... Uh, one of you will be the mayor of the town. You will get to see a wrestler. I will then uh, assign you, in secret, a character. So you might be a villager. You might be a werewolf. Or you will be the seer. If you are a seer, you also get to see the word. If you're a werewolf, you get to see the word, Adam? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it is then up to the villagers to try and work out who the wrestler is, the werewolves to hide who they are while also asking who the wrestler is. If you, uh, if the villagers get it right, then they will all get five points each. Um, if the werewolves, well, the werewolves manage to avoid them getting the question right, they will get five points. Um, 
Is that right, Adam, or have I already cocked this up? No, no, I mean, that's right. But there, is there a, like a detective element? Yes, the there'll end, be the detective element. Yes. And yeah, then yeah. if the werewolves can uh, correctly determine who the seer is, because the seer will know what the answer is, uh, they will also get themselves three bonus points. Gotcha. And the villagers, if they can guess who the werewolf was, will also net themselves three bonus points. Oh, Luke, I think this is going to work. I don't know if it is, Adam. Now Wait, that I've, uh, the, the, so, the second so I've... The, so the werewolf is the wrestler that we have to guess? No. So the I will put up a restaurant screen, for example, because I'm only going to do one round of this because I've already decided I've already backing out of what this is. Um, <laughs> no, commit to it. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in. I'm it, all in. It sounds like fun. <laughs> it, it might be. I'm, I'm sweating. I'll be honest with you. Um, say, for example, if I put up Storm called Steve Austin. Heard of um, him. Yes. The person <laughs> who is the town mayor, for example, say it was Adam. Adam would uh, have his eyes open and he would see this while everyone else has their eyes closed. If you have been assigned a werewolf card, you will also get to wake up individually and look at this and see that the answer is Stone Cold Steve Austin. If you have the uh -huh. seer card, you can also wake up and see who this is. Adam might be the seer, so he might not. He also might be the werewolf. Uh, and he will see what this answer is. But one of you will be a villager. The villager will have no idea who the wrestler is. You are then essentially playing 20 questions, asking the town mayor yes or no questions about this wrestler trying to guess who it is mm. the werewolves of course are trying to get it wrong move people in wrong directions so that the villagers do not guess correctly gotcha. who that it is stone cold steve austin uh luke yes i think this would work perfectly if you were the mayor because then it's more it's it's more players to like there to be a werewolf hidden amongst us and stuff do you know what adam i think you're probably right Okay. So I will and, be and the, the werewolf. Right. The werewolf can ask questions. It's yep, just absolutely. they need to throw people. Okay, the villager yeah. off. Okay, that's correctly. Yeah, absolutely. And what about the seer? Yeah. So the seer will also. They'll be trying to guide people in the correct direction because they are oh, looking okay. for the villagers to get the answer right. But if the werewolf can work out who the seer is, so basically they want to lead everyone in the right direction without making it too obvious. Because if the were werewolves can work out who the seer is, they get uh, points too. They get bonus points. Gotcha. Mm. Indeed, they do. So, okay. can I ask you uh, each to close your eyes, and I will uh, I will hold up your character name when I, I answer your name. Adam, can you open your eyes, please? You are a. Close your eyes. Alex, open your eyes. You are a. Okay. <laughs> Tempest, open your eyes. You are a. Dan, open your eyes. You are a. Okay, so um, can the seer please open their eyes? Can the werewolf please open their eyes? Okay, okay everyone, you are going to have, um, should we say, three minutes to ask me? Yes, you can all open your eyes now, it's off screen. Um, you can now have three minutes to ask me yes or no questions. I will answer them as best as I can. Um, and we will see how we get on after that, okay? In three, two, one, start. Uh, is this wrestler a man? Correct. Yes, it is. Is this wrestler this... active? No. Is this wrestler uh, alive? No. Ooh. Was this wrestler active in the 21st century uh yes is was... this no please Alex. was this wrestler ever a tag champion yes uh is this wrestler predominantly known for tag team wrestling no was, was this, wrestler this wrestler ever a world champion that was the no. question Did this wrestler have an absolute banger theme song? <laughs> yes. Did this wrestler have a banger theme song according to Luke Owen? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, okay. Is this wrestler... Oh, uh, I mean, I, mean I, I think it's a good theme. <laughs> is this wrestler known for Attitude Era? Yes. 
is this wrestler known much beyond the Attitude Era? No. Uh, is this wrestler a tighty whitey uh, gear kind of guy? Ooh. No. Is this wrestler a singlet kind of guy? No. Is this wrestler a long trousers kind of guy? Yes. Okay. Did this wrestler no appear in any of the brand extensions in the mid noughties? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can I make a guess? Yes, please. Is it test? That is absolutely the correct answer. I thought it was going to be test. You did it. Oh, wow. It is test. Well done. So that will be, um, I think I said I would give uh, three points there for the correct answer. So um, I should really give it to the other people in the village as well. Uh, So um, now, villagers, is it time for us to work out who the werewolf is, Adam? Uh, no, because the villagers got it right, uh, mm-hmm. it's now time for the werewolf, the werewolf to guess who the seer right. was. Yes. So, werewolf, please identify yourself. Hi. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex, who do you think was this town's seer? Who do you think knew what the answer was? Adam. Adam was absolutely the seer in that game. So that is five bonus points for you. You were asking too many questions. <laughs> no one else was asking any fucking questions. <laughs> You, you asked the same question exactly as I was about to, and I was like, thank you for asking. <laughs> right. Do you want to play another round of that? I think yeah. that's fun. Yeah, that's yeah, fun. I absolutely do. Yeah. Okay, let's do another one then. Um, so can I have you all please closing your eyes, and I'll ask you each individually to open up your eyes once I've given these cards a little shuffle. I haven't checked the live chat for this yet, so people might have already hated this. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to check in in the live chat with a new game. <laughs> Uh, Adam, please open up your eyes. You are. Uh, Alex, please open your eyes. Uh, Dan. Tempest. Okie dokie. Right, let me just get up a new answer. Um, werewolf. Oh, oh, sorry, actually, Sia, could you please open up your eyes? Werewolf, open up your eyes. Okie dokie. Right, let's have three minutes on the clock. Everyone, you can open up your eyes now. And your time starts now. Is this wrestler active? Yes. Man? Is this wrestler a man? Yes. Was this wrestler ever world champion? Yes. Are they currently Has... signed to WWE? Yes. Has this wrestler been world champion within the past two years? No. Uh, have this Has this wrestler ever won a Royal Rumble? No. Has this wrestler been world champion in the last 10 years? No. I don't think. Hold on. I don't think so. Uh, is this wrestler... Wait, you, someone's already asked if it's active, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was a yes. Yeah. But they were world champion more than 10 years ago. Has this person been with WWE for more than 15 years? Uh, yes, I think they've been has this person been a world time. champion in WWE? Yes, right. Has, has this, this person ever won a Money in the Bank? Yes. Has this person got? Um, is this person got? Is this person heel currently? Uh, no. Can I make a guess? Yes, you can. Is it Rey Mysterio? It is not Rey Mysterio. You said that he, he hasn't won a Royal Rumble, correct? Uh, not won a Royal Rumble, no. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, 
has this did this wrestler have a successful cash in yes also can confirm has not been champion uh, within the last 10 years okay but yes also has had a successful cash in oh can i make another guess damn oh can i uh, before then a quick question is this competitor currently on television uh y- y- yes they, they they certainly have been yes within the past like month yeah i think so within the last month yeah okay. and i don't want to guess who that is certainly the last yeah month or so yeah huh uh this seems funky like, do we get penalized if i make another incorrect guess absolutely not is it edge it is not edge no Oh, he's also won the Royal Rumble. But he's not okay. world champion. It's within. the ten-year, ten-year champion question. Yeah. Have they held a championship yeah. recently? Uh, of not any kind. Sing- uh, yes, yes. Oh, Tempest. Uh, okay. Hold on. Yes, Tempest. Tempest is yep. Dolph Ziggler. It is Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Suddenly thought I, I was about to say because I was counting world championship. You might have counted NXT as a world yeah. championship. Well, he was world champion nine years ago, sir. <laughs> 2013 <laughs> is when he cashed in. 2013. Yeah. Was it? I think uh, it was 2012. Oh, fair enough. Uh, he won yeah, it in I 2012. To, I went to 2011. I was like, yeah, he won it there. Then I looked at 2012 and I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, that was 2012, 2011. It was then. <laughs> yeah. My mistake. Apologies. I didn't One say of I was the doing best this. Best without... cash ins too. Mm. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So that is three points then to our villager team. Uh, Would the werewolf like to make a guess on who they thought the seer was? Oh, Tempest. (laughs) I think that Tempest was the seer. Yeah. Were you the seer? Nope. (gasps) Was it Dan giving wrong guesses fucking Leighton? Was it Dan? No, I was just I was just a bit thick today. Ow, it wasn't me. Well played, Alex. Alex was your seer. <laughs> well done, <laughs> all. It sort of works. Um, it's good. I, it, was, it was actually a really fun round. You just have I liked it way more a little bit more explanation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Among Us. A little bit. Yeah. Guessing yes, like yeah, the killer. Social yeah. deduction. Yeah. That's it. It's a bit of social deduction there. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know what? Some people are asking for a third round. And I think, do you know what? Actually, no, we've got, because we've got to move on. We've got to move on to Aww. our final round, unfortunately. If we've got time after the That's final round, fine. maybe we'll have one more just for a little <laughs> bit of fun. It's However, balanced. it is time for your final round of the day. And it is. Hey, Luke. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, should we perhaps hear from uh, our good friends at Surfshark first? Well, I was, I, I was just gonna let me finish my uh, my link there. Oh, that's what I was about to say. It was like this, on this, a this, this final round's <laughs> sponsor. Ah, very and, nice. Uh, God, Tempest, I was not going to do that. I'd actually forgotten, and, and then I panicked and remembered, and then you reminded me. Here's a sponsor. At Quizlemania, we believe in three things. Wrestlers' nipples, Adam never gets anything wrong as host, and the big business can get their grubby overlord hands off our IP address. And that's why we'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Quizlemania in 2022. Surfshark believes you have the right to privacy when you browse online, freeing you from the burden of targeted ads that keep thinking I'm pregnant for some reason. Reason, region lock content like HBO Max, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or unsecured connections when you're out and about doing whatever it is you do. We really honestly don't want to know what it is that you do. You're all disgusting. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in more than 60 countries, all secured with end-to-end encryption. So whether you're Ollie Davis going on your eighth gap year but still wanting to watch UK TV, Luke wanting to protect his computer from malicious websites while he hunts for Godzilla slash fiction, or Pete trying to remain hidden from the Chinese government because of what he did, For legal reasons, we can't talk about what Pete did. Surfshark VPN has you covered with its host of technical features. Take control of your internet usage today and try Surfshark VPN whilst also supporting Quizlemania in 2022 by going to surfshark.deal forward slash jamnatjam and enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. That's surfshark.deal forward slash jamnatjam. Enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. Luke, what he has though? Twenty thirteen. <laughs> yes, he did. Twenty thirteen. Dolph held gold. Luke, he did. Wait, Dolph. Oh, Luke. Dolph, twenty thirteen. Yes, he has. Twenty thirteen. It was the last ten years. In fairness, 
I w- I forgot he had been a world champion at all until you said it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that clue didn't really help. So thank you all. I should have been looking at the chat. You could have been my fact checkers. Um, that is on me. Let's get into our final round, and it is a big one as we always like to play here: survival of the people <sighs> who know the most about a very specific wrestling. Let's category. go. <sighs> Going into this round, in last place, it is Alex with 25. In third place, it is Tempest with 27. In third place, it is Dan with 30. In first place, it is Adam with 50. So a lot can change here because the way this round works is I am going to give you a category. And in uh, the order that I just gave you there, which is reverse order, so the person going uh, with the least amount of points will go first, etc., Third will go next, second will go next. If you get an incorrect answer, you will be eliminated from the game and you will get a certain amount of points. If you are eliminated first, you will get two points. If you're eliminated second, you will get... uh, No, that's wrong. If you're eliminated first, you get zero points. If you're eliminated uh, second, you will get yourself two points. If you're eliminated third, you get seven points. And if you make it to the end, you get 10 big boy points. Mm. Okay, so a lot can change on this one. Um, Let's get the first category here. If I can find the folder, let's have... Do you know what? Because it's recently been retired, WWE 24-7 champions. So I just need you to tell me a 24-7 champion. Give you a little bit of time to write some of these down while I go through some of the Ultra Chats. Medium Steve says, Adam thinks today's his big day. He thinks he'll win, but little does he know he's been given the role of the lunatic. Mark Gallagher here has a question for Adam. If WWE were to recreate movie scenes in the run-up to WrestleMania going Hollywood, which skit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail should they reenact, and who would you cast in said skit? Okay. Wait, what's the start of the context? Sorry. Uh, because WrestleMania goes Hollywood next year. So mm. if they were to do the the old movie skits again. Oh, I love those movie skits. They were good. Oh, those were uh, so good. I mean, Holy Grail is amazing. It's one of the greatest comedy films ever made. Um, I mean, it's got to be the, the, the Black Knight, right? The Black Knight fight is the, one of the greatest comedy scenes in mm-hmm. anything. Your arm's off. <laughs> No, no, it it's isn't. A scratch. It's much a scratch. <laughs> you could certainly do the musical number and then leave. Maybe you shouldn't go to Calalot. This is a silly place. <laughs> All right, we'll call it a draw. I, I'd love the the Frenchman on top of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Your father smells of elderberries. Um, <laughs> Ace Trainer Liam is in the chat with a huge. Hey, that's my guy. <laughs> Today, I'll read, lads. Given that Seamus and Gunther recently had a five star potential match of the year contender and Survivor Series, now including war games, which are your favorite new Pokemon introduced in Scarlet and Violet? The one that's also a motorbike, because that's the one that I've seen. Is that introduced in this one? It is. It is mental. What's that? Who did that? Um, um, I really when- liked. Finizen, the dolphin Pokemon, because I wanted a dolphin Pokemon for like my entire life, and then I saw it evolve, and I didn't like it as much anymore. Uh, my other answer is uh, uh, Backscalibur, because he's he's strong. Sounds like a wrestler. Um, and lastly, here from Frantic Energy, he says, "Be a man, Tempest. Come on, don't be scared. You're running from Adam. That's what I heard. Thanks for 54 <laughs> amazing Quizomanias and for inspiring me to run quizzes at my school." okay that's lovely that isn't that adorable (laughs) so we are going to be asking alex first then we're going to have tempest then we're going to have dan and then we will have adam going last let's put you into that order uh alex please can i have a 24 7 champion dana brooke dana brooke is a correct answer tempest our truth our truth certainly is a correct answer. Dan, can I have one, please? Elias. Elias is a correct answer. Uh, Adam, can I have um, one from you, please? The Gronk. <laughs> Indeed, the oh Gronk God. did win one. Uh, so, yes, you can have that. Um, back to you, Alex. Carmella. Carmella. It certainly did. Tempest. Probably, yeah. 
Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny certainly did. Oh Dan. Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly. Let's have a look on my list of lists. Oh, yeah, she did. Adam. Uh, no one said it yet. Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick, indeed. Of course, we can have that one. Um, please, uh, Alex, can I have you next, please? I think he was the first. Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil <laughs> is a correct answer. Uh, Tempest. Uh, Reginald. Oh, Reginald course. slash Reggie. You can have that one, Dan. Uh, I'm taking a punt because I don't know about things being recognized. Nikki Cross? Yeah, I will give you that, absolutely. Uh, which also will then remove Nikki A-S-H from the list. The last one. One and the same. Mm. They were, yeah, absolutely. She was the last champion. Adam. And she put it near the bin. <laughs> <laughs> near a bin. Just love Big Damo commenting on Twitter. You know, she never was any good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not just the most perfect ending for that title? Though? Yes. Yeah. They could oh, yeah. 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 From beginning to end, just went wrong. I don't, I don't think Dana Brooke agrees, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. Adam, uh, fucking Kane. <laughs> Yes, you can have game. Although listed on uh, Wikipedia as Mayor Glenn Jacobs. So I'll give you that. Thanks, uh, Alex. Robert Rude. Indeed, Robert Rude. The second ever 24-7 champion. Oh, God. Tempest. Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, the third 24 7 champion. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's how we're doing it, is it? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Chronological order now. Now the big boys play. Look at the adjective. Dan. Uh, I think I'm about to, to, to fall out because Jinder Mahal was one of my question marks and my only other one with a question mark. I think she was the referee in it, but Melina. Uh, I think Melina counted the pinfall for Kelly Kelly, and that's why I've got her on my list. But I don't think she's ever held it. But I'm saying Melina. She is not on my list. I'm oh! afraid, Dan. Dan is out of here. Adam, can you give me another one, please? I can. Akira Tozawa. Akira <sighs> Tozawa. You certainly absolutely can have Akira Tozawa. Um, back to you, Alex. Tori Wilson. Tori Wilson. Pretty sure that's a correct answer, but it's not written down on my thing. Tori Wilson. 24-7. Yeah, she won the belt, didn't she? Have a look. Championship and accomplishments. Scroll down. <laughs> accomplishments. <gasps> no, she did <gasps> not win it. Oh, no! As Alex out of the game, unfortunately. Also, as well, because I don't think she gave me a correct answer. Oh, no, she does get points. She gets two points for that. So, well done. Um... Tempest, please, going to have an answer from you. Hey, hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> you and me, Adam. Hey. Here we are. Wow. Crazy. I'm going to go. With, I don't want to give that one because that's kind of like a double double answer. I will say Drew Gulak. Gulak. You can certainly have that one. Adam, back to you. <sighs> Alundra Blaze. Blaze, indeed. That was my have. safety. Tempest. Uh, Ted DiBiase. Damn it, the million dollar man. Absolutely. Bought Adam. offer. <sighs> okay. Now, we're just going to guess. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you, you still have 40 potential answers. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> yes. Um, she's always getting involved. Maria Menounos. Maria Menounos. <gasps> oh, dear, Adam. Tempest, can you give me one? And you will net yourself ten points. I'll go with the one I thought he was going to say. Maria Canellis. Maria Canellis is a correct answer. That is ten points there for Tempest. So let's bring back Adam, Dan, Very and good. Alex. Well done, all. That was a good, good round. 
Thank you. Uh, so that is 10 points for Tempest and seven points for Adam. Okie Koki. Uh, should we do one more of those? Maybe even yes. a third. Let's do the we'll other do like, round. No, <laughs> let's we'll do, do 10 more so I can catch up. <laughs> Okay, uh, next, let's ask for WCW ECW <laughs> Alliance <laughs> members. How are you defining this as? Uh, what it's listed as on Wikipedia. They have a page on Wikipedia, and they have listed members on there. I can tell you that the members also include referees uh, and uh, a one-time play-by-play commentator. Yeah. All but if they were part of, but if they were part of the alliance faction, if they joined, then they they are included on this list. So it doesn't mean that they were the in first original invading force. Gotcha. Uh, we'll do some more ultra chats for There's you. So fucking many of these. <laughs> <laughs> Adolfo here said, "Here for Alex and the better Adam, aka Dan." Also, yep. based on the rap chart, the BBC had a few weeks ago. Maybe the new name should be the Whitepool Content Club. <laughs> Love your work, fellas. Adam versus Tempest for Man <clears throat> War season three. Also, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Adam, uh, who do you think is going to win? Argentina. Dan. Uh, I think based on the group stage form, it's going to be Francis for the winning. Tempest, you've been watching some of it. Fubo! Uh, I'll go with France, because it would make Terry happy. Alex, <laughs> any predictions? Uh, I think we all win, because we love the old footy ball. <laughs> uh, the old footy ball they say they they cheer Vincent is me saying it misha here says star studded lineup tonight can't decide who to root for super hype for nrb xmas party and always here for alex luke when are we getting that monday night war premium live show liw4 live jam that jam under console nation the hashtag joshi bless joshi bless Joshi bless. Okey, cokey, pick it up, okey. Uh, let's start with Alex, please. Can I have an Alliance member? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin. Certainly. <laughs> I love can that. Have. I love that. Just what, what a mark of the invasion. Name a member of the WCW. <laughs> well, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. WWF <laughs> champion at the time. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, him, please. Tan. <laughs> Uh, Booker T. Booker T is a correct answer. Tempest. Uh, we'll go with Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is a correct answer. Adam. Uh, Stephanie McMahon, please. Stephanie McMahon is a correct answer. Alex. Test. Test is a correct answer. Give me a test. Uh, Dan. Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon is a correct answer. Tempest. Taz. Taz is Uncle Taz. It's Taz. <laughs> it's Taz. Um, do you remember when Taz uh, did turn his back uh, and he joined the Alliance and Michael Cole on SmackDown and said, what am I going to tell my kids about Uncle Taz? What am I going <laughs> to say what uh, Uncle Taz did? <laughs> Great times. Adam. Uh, Nick Patrick. <laughs> you certainly can have tricky Nick Patrick. Of course you can. So glad someone said it. Alex. I know for a fact, Tori Wilson. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you did, Tori Wilson. Uh, there are still 41 members of this group. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stacey Keebler. Stacey Keebler is also part of this group. Tempest. Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome was. Uh, Adam. Um, let's go with William Regal. William Regal certainly was. He became the commissioner of the Alliance. And by doing so, meant that Mick Foley had to come back. Alex. Uh, <gasps> Mighty Molly. Mighty Molly oh, is a correct answer. Dan. And I'm going to continue with the, the pairing, Hurricane. Hurricane, Jane. absolutely. You can have the hurricane. Tempest. Uh, ba, 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 Lance Storm. Lance Storm is a correct answer. Adam. Uh, Christian. Christian, at last. I was holding He's on to that one. Uh, Alex. 
I hope no one said this yet. Tommy Dreamer? No one has said Tommy Dreamer yet. So that is a correct answer for you, Dan. Bubba Ray Dudley. Bubba Ray Dudley is a correct answer. Tempest? Devon Dudley. Devon Dudley is a correct answer. Adam? Um, rhinoceros. <laughs> or rhino to his friends. <laughs> Absolutely. is a correct answer. Alex? Debra. Debra is a correct Fuck answer. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is a correct answer. Tempest. DDP. DDP is a correct answer. The stuff that I showed on screen is only rated PG. <laughs> Baba da boopy. <laughs> the rest of this stuff is from my personal collection. Adam. Um, Shout out to Billy the Kidman. Podcast. Billy Kidman is a correct answer. Alex. A podcast coverage of the evasion, by the way. An incredible series three. Alex. Diamond Dallas Page. <gasps> We've just said DDP, unfortunately. Wait! Oh no! <laughs> Daniel. Chuck Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo is 100% oh. a correct answer. Tempest. Great shout. Ooh, that's going to be a different one. Uh, but I'll say, who better than Canyon? Than Canyon, indeed. Who better? It was his win that got the uh, the Alliance their victory at Invasion, according to him. So who better? Uh, Adam. Uh, well, we're going down this route. Brian Adams. <laughs> Yes, Adam. That's why I like it about you, mate. Brian Adams. Um, Dan. Sean O'Hare. Sean O'Hare is absolutely a correct answer. Tempest. That was the one that I had just written down. Uh, I'll go with Brian Clark. Absolutely. Of course, we've got to get those muscled up statues in there. Adam. Uh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, 100%. Joined it right at oh the end. God. He was the mole. Was Dan. Ivory. Ivory is a correct answer. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm starting to run low here. There are 19 few... names left. I'll be honest <sighs> with you. Three of which are referees and one of which is a commentator. Okay. I've, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll say Hugh Morris. Hugh Morris Still is a mind. correct answer. Adam. This is a guess. Jazz is a correct answer. Survivor Series. She showed up as a Survivor Dan, Series. Yeah. She did. Dan, who you got? Charles Robinson is a correct oh, answer. Look at you go, little Nate. <laughs> Bill Nate, Tempest. I was holding that one. Uh, Buff Bagwell. <laughs> Very is a correct good. answer. Adam. Raven. Raven is a correct answer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dan. Chavo Guerrero is a correct answer. Is Tempest. it? <laughs> yes. He in fact left <sighs> the alliance before Survivor Series. Um, Tempest. Uh, Stasiak. Damn it! Sean Stasiak I'm, is a correct I'm answer. Out his name. Little, little meat. Um, with his tape boy, Adam. Tadges. Old Old Tajiri did not join the alliance he remains true to the wwf but that is two points for adam right there uh, uh who is this is it as dan in fact dan you're up next uh -huh. this is a hail mary terry runnels terry runnels is a correct answer <sighs> oh i did not have that down tempest terry. there are 11 names left i currently have Two written down. Mm -hmm. I will say just incredible. Oh, is a correct answer. Such Dan. a good answer. Great name. And it's a great name. It's incredible, if you will. Yeah, it's just incredible. Jerry Lynn. Did not join us. Oh. I think you might have actually been at the company by the time the invasion started. <laughs> Tempest, that will be seven points for Dan. But can you give me uh, another name in order to net yourself 10 points? 
I think this is the this is the only one I'm coming up with at this point. Referee Mickey Henson slash Mickey James. Uh it's actually not on my list. Oh. <laughs> so well, that's, that's interesting. Tempest is out, but of course, bring you all back in. Can you just give me that name one more time, please, bud? Uh, Mickey Henson slash Mickey James. So he's in like the Mickey James. No, he was called Mickey no, James. No. Yeah, his name was too close to Mickey James, and they changed his name to Mickey Henson. Okay, well, I'm just going to quickly double because there are one, there's one other referee. Ones. So let's have a quick check. Uh, referee. Um a wikipedia page but he's only got one name which is billy silverman is the only other referee brian uh who's the other referee uh brian, brian hebner. hebner was the other referee mm. who was listed down so that is um seven points for you as well tempest so okay. well done there who are the others i want to know uh you could have had mike sanders you could have had Famous. reno you could have had stephen richards because he's Richard. the manager oh, of yeah. Clark and Adams. Of course. You could have had Johnny Stamboli. The, you all right. Have had, all blood of Italians. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kaz Hayashi. Yep. Yeah. You okay, could have yeah. had Mark Jindrak. Huh. <laughs> or you could have had Scott Hudson, who was at one point the WCW commentator, along with his color commentator, Arn Anderson. I had written down, like I've crossed, like all of them are crossed out, but I have still got Shane. Now I'm pretty sure someone said it, but I was like, I gone. I took Shane because you yeah. gave me Steph. I was so, yeah. I was like, I've gone too long and no one said Shane. Someone said it. I had, I had like a, a weird ripcord ready to pull, but I'm glad I didn't go for it. You did indeed. Yeah, no, someone had already said Shane. So I think that is going to bring us to the end of this game of Quizzle Mania. The scores are as follows. In last place with 27 points, it is your queen of the ring, Alex. In That's third a respectable place. last place, though. That Thank is a very respectable very total. Much. I don't think I've ever been last place. In, I don't, I don't. <laughs> in third place with 37 points, it's Dan Layton. Captain Consistency, by the way. Um, the dogs in celebration there. In <laughs> the second place with 44 points. It's Adam. No, it's not. It's Tempest. Oh, <laughs> Tempest. <laughs> 59 points. And new Quizzle Mania champion. It is Adam, the host, Blom PA. I finally did it. The boyhood dream has come true. Thank and you. new. Thank you, well done, everyone. Thank you all so much. Have you all enjoyed yourselves this evening? Well, I've had a lovely time. Good. Absolutely. It was great. <laughs> Boo said. Boo? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Boo? <laughs> what do you mean, Boo? <laughs> boo there, I was saying Boo Earns. Thank boo you. on PA. <laughs> boo on um, PA. <laughs> Let's give a shout out to all of our competitors here. Tempest, thank you so much for joining us. You can follow him at Tempest WT. Professor Dan Layton at Daniel J. Layton on the old Twitters. Queen of the Ring with two Gs uh, for Alex and Adam, of course. Your champion, Adam the Blompier. Don't give him any more followers. He's already got enough. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, if you do, if you do need to uh, duck out, if you do need to leave, because that is the end of the quiz, um, unless anyone wants to play another game of this, um, yeah. you please feel free to go, <laughs> or we'll do some, and we'll do some more ultra jazz. So, if you want to stick around, please do uh, while I read these out. Um, in fact, do you know what we'll do? Love o'clock, I think. I think ah. it's time for love o'clock as we get into the uh, final part of this here. Um, let me get cross bring up the chat where is van twin blade where is he van twin blade ladies and gentle marks it is time for love o'clock there's everyone say nice things about each other adam can you please say something nice about tempest uh yes i i live in awe of tempest's uh aptitude for this game he is a computer uh tempest is also uh, one of the loveliest men i've ever met uh, I'm very fortunate that he lives near me now, so it means we can play lots of board games in the future. He's very good at what he does, and he is uh, a solid gold gent. Tempest, you're the best. Love you, bud. Um, Tempest, we'll get to your love clock in a second. I just want to shout out. Do you know who's in the chat? It's only bloody Mara. Hey, Mara! Mara! 
bloody love Mara. Uh, Tempest, um, can you say something nice about Alex, please? Alex is one of the loveliest people that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. I am so fortunate to have been able to hang out with Alex when we were in Chicago for All Out 2021 in a wonderful car ride that is a wonderful <laughs> shared memory for all involved. And, and I'm very glad. <laughs> yeah, I'm very I'm very glad to have been able to uh, to meet you and go to, to GCW with you. And just in general, she's very good at what she does. An excellent Twitch streamer that everybody should go and check out because Total Diva streams are fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun fight, actually, because I, I, I approached Alex about being on uh, Quizlemania way back in the day. Because it was Quizlemania uh, 2 or 3, I think we had you on. Like, it was like really early doors. It was early doors. Mm -hmm. It was really early doors. I remember being so, like, intimidated because you, like, you were so cool. I was like, Alex won't <laughs> want to do this. Like, Alex is way too cool to do our stupid little quiz show. That no I was, I was like, well, it'd be so lovely if you did. And I was like, oh, she's so going to say no. And then she said, oh yeah. And I was like, gosh. oh, I don't I mean, like, the real, the cool kid's coming. We need to put on our big boy pants now. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't even. I like watched Russell talk for so long and I was like, oh, wow, I've made it. When you guys invited <laughs> me, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex, if you could say something nice about Dan, a man you met an hour and 56 minutes ago. <laughs> well, Dan, <laughs> oh, you seem so lovely. First, your jumper is just exquisite. You are a delight to be on stream as well. You seem like a fun time. You seem like, you know, <laughs> we can grab a pint or even like grab a coffee and we could just shoot the shit and it'd be amazing. You have a lovely smile, a lovely headshot, and I hope that creepy woman in the back does not haunt your dreams. There she is. goes. <laughs> She's there. There she is. <laughs> uh, and lastly, Dan, could you say something nice about Adam, please? I could say many nice things about Adam. Adam is one of the sharpest, funniest people I've ever met. Um, he's also incredibly generous, I have found in my experience. And uh, excellent facial and hair combination, I think. <laughs> I, I couldn't ask for a better twin if I tried. It's, I've, I've admired Adam from afar for many years. And it's a thrill to get to know you on a personal level. I have a great deal of affection for Adam Rapier. I think everyone should. Well <laughs> done. Everyone loves Lover Clark. Uh, Gibby D Headass, who's donated 50 bucks, wow. has said, it's wow. my first ever live Quizzlemania. I actually just started watching these last month. I've only just finished Quizzlemania 25. <sighs> F -tier. Hashtag jam that jam. Yeah. Oh, you've got a gosh, you've got a road ahead oh, of you. Oh, Adam, yes. <laughs> yeah. There's a real hey, bubble if, one in there. <laughs> if you just watched that, I got it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Amazing. That was that one. <laughs> Uh, Chris said, hi gang, just wanted to ask if someone can be uh, so, so selfless in wrestling like Alexa, who wants to be champion again, but is happier when new people get the title, uh, which is great. Love her for it, but it means she gets passed over for pushes. What do you think? Uh, um, I think it's a tricky thing where, I mean, what I want for the wrestlers on TV is just being creatively fulfilled and that doesn't necessarily having have to mean being champion or being in the main event or whatever i think it just would be more inspired character work and booking to help get other people over in the process i think that is what i would personally hope for people like alexa and anybody else but if she's happy more power to her agreed agreed Gal Monroe, watching as I sip a nice Shiraz to start four weeks annual leave. Fun fact, you break your elbow, you get signed off for three months. And you end nice. up with shitloads of holidays used by the end of the year. And with a random 42 and 0 celebration, do you think a return or debut face Jade happens tonight? Or do you think a return or debut will, uh, a return or debut will come in to face Jade tonight? I so me and Tempest have actually got a bit of fancy booking here about Cargill's uh, undefeated streak, which we think she'll go to forty nine and zero for Revolution, and then be beaten by Willow Nightingale at Revolution to break Ooh. the fifth. So they'll do like they could she get to fifty and zero, and Willow Nightingale be the one. She's already failed twice, and the third time she gets it. I think you can tell that story very easily from now until Revolution. Oh, that's nice. Mm. 
Willow Nightingale is a gem. I totally agree. So lovely. <laughs> she, yeah, she's great. Um, a delight. Also, can we give a shout out? I mean, we all saw Alex's incredible reaction to Jade's Jade outfit that she had. Uh, <laughs> was it a revolution uh, this year, wasn't it? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, what did you think of her um, her Thundercats inspired gear for I full gear? I loved it. I loved the Thundercats, but honestly, the She Hulk was my favorite this year. Yeah, She Hulk was, was fun. Or as Jr. <laughs> thought it was, the color of money. <laughs> uh fluffy had to say question for the group is the best story wwe could tell right now with the bloodline sammy winning the rumble not with their help but with kevin owens's help it would force him to face reigns at mania with plenty of time for a juicy story why don't you book it adam uh, I love that idea. I love the idea of Kevin Owens forcing Sammy to go up against uh, Roman. I think that's delightful. I don't think they'll do it. And honestly, considering the plans that might be in place, like, yeah, I wanted in Montreal, please. That's going to be mm. the best yeah. match. That's going to be the best match. Uh, Margie Pargy says, hey guys, it's Quizzlemania Day. It's the best day of the month. I'm rooting for Adam. Great to see Dan on the show. Question for Dan. Did anyone in Rest Talk slash No Rolls Bars try your friend's beef trifle? If not, <laughs> that's a video I definitely need in my life. No, I have I have in the past brought baked goods into the office, but this was one I wouldn't inflict. I only inflicted on two people who kind of owed me. So like, I wouldn't bring it into the office and force it on anybody. Uh, Joe Nero West on that subject. In fact, says, I'm just going to say it. Dan's a beautiful man. However, I am rooting oh. for Adam. Um, That's also Pax a compliment for Adam. I was going to say, any compliments do ricochet onto me. So I'm, yeah. I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim Thuggin here says, with NXT basically ripping off other companies' wrestling stipulations, what's one you would actually want to see in WWE? Personally, I would love to see a version of TNA's X Division Cup because who doesn't love a tournament? Look, I, I look, and everyone was very excited when NXT announced their very wacky new stipulation because it came with a penalty box, and everyone was like, "Oh, it's like King of the Mountain." Luke will love that, and she'd be right. I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> what was that nonsense reverse battle royal they did? In, oh, it's called the reverse battle royal. The reverse battle royal. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the key to yeah. it is though, um, is that that's only step one of the, ah. the journey that you're looking to take because it's, it's a multi-layered system you see so you have 20 men start outside the ring and then they will fight to go inside of the ring 10 will gain inside the ring then a normal battle royal commences and the order of those eliminations determines your seeding for a tournament ah. so and then the, the winner of that tournament then gets a title shot so it's not just it's not just any old reverse battle royal there's extra elements to uh, it. quick question the winner overall winner of that tournament how did they do in the reverse battle royal um, uh, they weren't in the, the one you're referring to. They weren't in. Um, they <laughs> they were actually in a different match, the Reverse Battle Royal, because the person who was supposed to be in it um, left the company, so they got put in their place instead, and then they won the tournament. It's uh, really gimmick, quite simple. <laughs> gimmick I would like to see stolen is uh, one that basically we already stole for WCPW, which is Aztec Warfare. Uh, a Royal oh, Rumble, nice. a Royal Rumble with pinfalls. It's delightful. Yeah, yeah. Chikara uh, had one of those as well. The Infinite Gauntlet. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. Uh, Misha here's extra chat for Alex. Have you been watching Pro Wrestling Eve? They've been doing some fantastic TJPW crossovers. Wrestle Kingdom Five was a wonderful fusion show. Get Dan Reed on streams. Hashtag Church of Joshi. Hashtag Joshi Bless. Hashtag Eve Army. Yeah, I still I have to keep up with the I have to watch their um the show where. It was Miu Yamashita versus Mili McKenzie. I think it was like two weeks ago. I have to still watch that. But yeah, they pop into Church of Joshi all the time, actually. They're really cool. We love Pro Wrestling Eve here. Uh, Eric said, I would like this money to be earmarked for finally updating the blurry low resolution red stage curtain that has been the background since Quizzlemania <laughs> 1. Kidding. Thank you all so much for so many hours of fun, wholesome entertainment. Adam found this on Google Images. I'll think you'll find. I searched for it for an entire minute. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Fluffy Edders here, foolishly throwing more money at you because Adam's instant reference to Skittlebrow made me so happy. Clearly also part of that generation who unconsciously holds early Simpsons at the front of their brains at all time. One of us. One of us. us. I have yes. something to say. Yes, Alex. I'm, I have just recently watched The Simpsons for the first time. 
Oh, Ooh. what was your first episode? Uh, it was one of the Treehouse of Horrors. So I oh, binged the nice. Treehouse of Horrors. And then I actually just recently watched uh, Who Shot Mr. Burns. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's big. It was really good, yeah. <laughs> Uh, which which treehouse was it? What was the the stories? Um, if you can remember, the one where Homer Simpson goes into this like alternate reality. Oh, the three D one. Oh. Yeah, the three D one. Um, it's like that zone that's all Twilight. The other one that's the uh, Four, I think the Edgar Allan Poe knockoff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. quote the Raven. One. Oh, yes. that's the, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. very first one. Quote the Raven. Eat my shorts. Because on Disney Plus they have it in order, so like in on for Halloween they have the full collection in Treehouse oh, very nice. order. So I watched very, that very all. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jez here said, hey guys, love Quizzlemania and I've been watching from the get-go. Uh, any inside word on when AEW is heading to England? So I'm thinking of flying over from New Zealand. To wow. Sydney. Wow. Uh, we do not have any inside track on that, unfortunately. I did ask, um, but uh, <laughs> they were being a bit tight-lipped. Um, German Chavez here says, hello, everyone. Although if you do come from New Zealand, hit us up. Uh, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Question for the group. What's your favorite thing to do on your day off slash free time? Let's go Tempest LIW for life. <laughs> Adam, what do you like to do on your free time? Uh, I like to cycle. I like to uh, do a lot of nothing. I, I, I have so many video games to play and I, I need to catch up on them. Uh, and I like to cook a big thing. Like, uh, like no, no, when I get home from work, I don't have time to cook a nice big thing, but I, wanna, I, I like to cook a big thing. I do, the, do you do... have a signature thing? No, no, not really. Like I try, and, I try and do like a bunch of different things. I used to do a lovely fish pie. I haven't cooked that in oh. ages, though. I might, oh, I might cook that soon. That's not true, Adam, because you told me there was that time that you gave yourself food poisoning and then tried to blame it on the the very nice blue van man that it works outside of our office. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't possibly have been the blue van man with he throwing all of the meat onto the one skillet. It was probably those Sainsbury's meatballs, which I've cooked 25 times. That's it exactly must have, right. Yeah, it yeah, must yeah, have yeah. been Pro- them. Probably those, though, mate, wasn't it? Couldn't yeah, have been blue have been van man. No. That was not a blue van moment. <laughs> trying to besmirch besmirch that man's good name uh big plumpy plump here says hi all i hope you're having a great day here's a quick actually sorry i didn't go around the rest of the group sorry tempest what do you like to do with your day off (laughs) uh these days i like to play the new pokemon games because it's about the only new game i have with me because my ps5 is in canada alex what do you do with your spare time (laughs) i've recently taken up pottery so oh, I, no way. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I make ceramics. Um, I actually have. Hold on. <gasps> yes, oh, show us. I, I didn't Ooh. want to ask in case there was nothing to be uh, to show off. I'm very excited. <gasps> My mom this... does pottery. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, that's Holy awesome. That's so yeah, cool. I that's made this pr- by hand. It's a pinch, so I pinched it out. Yeah, I, there's yeah. a studio nearby, and I've been learning, and I've been making a lot of things and gifting them. So, but this one's mine. That's amazing. So yeah, amazing. That's all. Uh, I, w- I would ask Dan, but Dan's apparently looking after dogs. Uh, that's he what likes he does to look after time. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I've dealt with them. I've sorted it. Look at Dan. He's looking after the dogs of famous YouTubers. That's what he does in his spare time. <laughs> she Dan, doesn't what like do you foxes. Do? Dog sitter to the stars. Come here. Come here. Dan, what do you do with your spare time, bud? Well, I've unfortunately made the things I do for my spare time my job. So it's like, go to the movies. I do that for for work as well. Um, So I tend to go on long walks and listen to audiobooks. That's how I like to unwind. I like to go for a wander by the river in London and listen to things. Dan is the most cinematic man I, I've ever met. He once told me, I uh, said, so what are you going to do for the rest of the day? He said, I've got a playlist on and I'm going to go for the Notting Hill walk uh, that, uh, that Hugh does in the movie. Yeah, done that before. <laughs> it's a bit sad I was that day. You were a bit sad, but I want to take you for a drink. Um, <laughs> sorry, back to Big Plumpy Plump here, who said, uh, here's a question. Uh, apart from the My Way package for WrestleMania X7, what do you think is the best wrestling video package ever? Another question is, uh, do you think it's a cop-out to give Sammy a tag match at WrestleMania? Let's do the first question. Um, I think a lot of people have a similar answer. Tempest? Running up that hill. The Ooh, uh, Shawn Michaels Undertaker uh, WrestleMania that is one. Not what I was expecting, That's Alex. A good one. 
I was going to say Shawn Michaels versus Triple H at SummerSlam 2022. Or 2002, sorry. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Not expecting that either. Uh, Dan? Uh, she was play- playing with my foot. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> The dog um, under the table. It, it is uh what is the best uh, wrestling video package that isn't the my way package from isn't wrestlemania x7 oh, see my way is tasty mm-hmm. bam she non factor i don't know uh, adam uh, i'll give you the one that you're expecting a monster a monster i turn <laughs> into a monster <laughs> and it keeps getting stronger that is the one i was expecting um <laughs> I I had planned. I had two Twitter profiles that I wanted to do in like uh, what I could have called spare time um, that I wanted to call that was just Attitude Era um, uh, video packages. I was basically just going to download them off the network and just post those because I thought that's good shareable content. The other one was a MasterChef fan account that was just called Greg Face, where I just post pictures of Greg Wallace's face. Um, I don't have time to do either of them, and I think Twitter will close down soon. A's are done here. I also will say, um, incredibly underrated, uh, same show, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, the legacy. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's, it's the way it, uh, the Hey Kids lands on the beat. It, oh, it's, it's so good and it's also the way he leans into the camera and says who am i <laughs> and then just like yeah. they do a perfect little <laughs> horror snap cut. oh i'm gonna watch that after we after we finish this very good and to answer the other part of the question honestly i almost think it's more likely that the wrestlemania match will be sammy and kevin against the usos for the tag titles I don't think Sammy's going to be involved in the world title match at WrestleMania, given what we yeah. know plans to be. But I think that tag match will be one of the best and most promoted matches on the WrestleMania card. Yeah. And I'll be looking forward to it very much. I Absolutely. wouldn't be surprised if it was a main event, honestly, which is yeah. how long yeah. this storyline's gone. I wouldn't be you surprised if it main night. evented night one. Night one. You might as yeah. well, yeah. Uh, I, I think it'll be... I actually think night one will be... Bel Air Ripley as the main event. I think that is Fun. it's too big of a match to not be the main event. Uh, Aza Dunn here says, hey guys, long time no see. I've got a question for the room and the chat. If you could make a women's Mount Rushmore, who would you have on it and why? Much love from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag queen that queen. Hey. Should, we have, should we have a name each? Well, actually, yeah. well, you can have a name each that you'd put on the Mount Rushmore. Dan, who, you go first. Oh, um, for me, I would have to pick, I think, China, because yeah. that was the first person I ever really latched onto. And I think that while uh, technically she was sloppy at best, uh, I think there was something about seeing an incredibly powerful woman who could mix it up with the men. And you believe that she she was booked in such a way that you believe she would beat them. For me, as a young boy, was very informative on the the man I became. I think so. China, I think, regardless of technical ability, has to be on there. Alex, I'm gonna go with Manami Toyota. Manami Toyota is like prodigy. I believe she won like it was a PWI. I think it was rookie of the year or best or one of those. And she was only like 24 years old when she won. Um, and they compared her to the Sean to Shawn Michaels in that era. Um, I think she could out wrestle Shawn Michaels, but definitely go watch her body of work on YouTube after this show, especially her versus Akira Hokuto. Greatest match. Greatest Joshi match. Tempo. I fucking co-sign all of that. Like, <laughs> Manami Toyota is I I everyone's entitled to their own opinion but I think Manami Toyota is like so by far the best women's wrestler of all time like her in-ring body of work is fucking untouchable mm-hmm. incredible and it was like 25 years ago when she was at her peak it just blows my mind absolutely insane uh that being said if I'm to give a different answer I'd probably say someone like Aja Kong. And finally, Adam. Becky Lynch. I think she, like, the explosion of popularity is Austin level. Um, I think she's, I can't remember the last bad match she's had. I think it's certainly in WWE, she's the best thing going. 
Uh, she's unbelievably good. Like her matches against Belair. I mean, obviously Bianca's amazing too, but just her matches against Belair, a match against Asuka, a match against Charlotte. Like she's she's amazing. I love Becky Lynch. And the amount Very. of time it took, the amount of time she plugged away to get to that one big moment, just like oh, inspirational. Yeah. Love Becky Lynch. She turned up with a fucking Irish jig gimmick and main event <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And you know who would build that Mount Rushmore and get no credit for it? Would be Molly Holly. I feel like... <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. NLB Meme says, Hello, Quizlemania crew. Just out of my new job, so I get to launch, uh, watch the last few games. While you are catching this after the game, where words was so much fun? Granted, I am biased, but I thought it was amazing. We'd love to see it played again. Love you all. It was fun to do a Quizlemania round where we figured it out on stream. Pansexual <laughs> Chocolate said, It's Sully O'Clock. Who can do the best impersonation of all of our boyfriends, Sullivan Bo Brown? <laughs> Who wants to go first with an impression of Sullivan? I, I am famously bad at impressions, so I'll just get it oh, out of the way. True, it, it would be like, I was like, doing this, this, and also this. And, and, <laughs> that's the best I can offer you. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. There was a lot uh, of Sully in there. There was a lot of Sullivan in there. Uh, Tempest, have you got a Sullivan in you? Uh, I mean, I wish I had a little bit of Sullivan in me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Brooke. Wow. I'm stealing Adam's gimmick today. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> snip, snip that. Remix. Let's oh. do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to figure it out on the spot. But... <sighs> Alex, do you want to uh, have a crack at a Sullivan impersonation? I f okay, every time I've played Quizlemania with Sully, it looks like he's, sit he's sitting like this, like against the wall. Also, I feel like you have to make his mouth so tiny. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, what, what, what you... What? What do you think, Luke? I, we're the lovely boys, you know. I'm I'm Sully. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sullivan. You're great. Wonderful. It's <laughs> amazing. All right, well, Adam, it comes down to you. You are his, uh, his uh, number one lover, after well, all. I would, I would give you the old hot dog, but instead, I, I, my, one of my, one of my favorite things that Sully does is that whenever he gets a point right, he does this. He goes. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite thing. Oh, Amazing. I look scenes. at that a lot today. Film and survival <laughs> series. Well done, Sullivan. <laughs> Perfect impression, no notes. <laughs> <laughs> Tempest Lover 69. Hello, lads. Question. I'm introducing a friend to wrestling who's never seen it before. I'm thinking of showing them three matches. One single, one tag, one type gimmick match. Um, LOW for life. Jam that jam. Love you all. I'm going to assume they'd like, which would your suggestions be? A Royal yes. Rumble. Yeah. It's a good way to introduce people to lots of different characters. Also, but like, so you want to you want to see what wrestling's all about? All right, so this is an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. So my so my brother's partner um, has never seen wrestling before, but she really wanted to see something wrestling. So I they, I decided to show her. We did like a big thing about this, like what's the perfect match to show her? And I know it's come up a lot on this show, but the main event of Backlash two thousand. Rock versus Triple H, because it's got mm. all the bells and whistles around mm. it that makes wrestling wrestling. You know, the evil owner's son is the referee who hates the good guy and the baddies on the outside. A hero comes down at the end while all the baddies are cheating. And, the, you know, the crowd goes absolutely fucking ballistic for it. Plus, you get a title change. It almost sums up everything that's just like perfect pro wrestling uh, in one thing. And she saw it and she's like, I don't want to watch any more of it, but I get it. Mm. And it was so like it. I I feel like that is a really good example to show. Uh, yeah. TLC two. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. I also uh, HBK Undertaker at WrestleMania twenty five because I had a proven track record. Of, I had my girlfriend at the time no interest. By the end of the match, was reacting to every near fall. Wow, like, oh, nice. Yeah, I would definitely go with. I mean, 
Sasha Banks versus Bailey at Takeover. Yes, that's, the that's first. A just gonna say one. that. Yeah, so good, good. so good. Also for fun, show them the Firefly Funhouse match with John Cena <laughs> and Bray Wyatt. <laughs> I mean, just for fun. <laughs> genuinely, like it's pa- it's paced to not be boring. Like there's no like boring wrestling in it. It's just a weird short film about wrestling. It's great. Yeah, and everyone Pretty knows John day. Cena, so everyone would get a kick out of it. I suppose in a way, but if they ever like, so re- all wrestling's like this, right? <laughs> like, yep, it's all <laughs> <Yep>. like this. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. I like showed them the uh, the swamp match first. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for, a, for a tag match, there are a lot of really good ones. If I were to just give one off the top of my head, I would say DIY Revival from TakeOver Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was a good one. I was gonna say, I was gonna yeah. say, like, yeah, you know, like Bucks FTR, but you need the crowd yeah. there, which means I would probably suggest, while I, I'm, I'm not her hugest fan, the Rousey tag match from Mania. Rousey oh, that was fun. Versus Trips yeah. and Steph. Mm. Like, it's, that was fun. Uh, and because it's got, it's easy to understand characters. And you get that amazingly fun moment at the end when Ronda and Triple H square off and Triple H pisses himself laughing and be like, oh, this will be a fucking cakewalk and then gets annihilated. It's so good. It's got uh, that silliness of wrestling, isn't it? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, for my tag match, it's the uh, Hardys versus Edge and Christian at Unforgiven in the cage match because that is oh. a really good story. Uh, one guy gets accidentally gets out of the cage, leaving the other guy locked in. Uh, the other guy keeps trying to get back into the cage while they double team him. That's not fair. Boo hiss. Uh, whereas the other guy finally manages to jump in and save the day. Like it's it's really good, well paced. Like it's very very like it's just a well structured match. Really well structured. Another one you just reminded me. Underrated the New Day versus Usos in the Hell in a Cell. Oh, yeah. yeah, that one's a good Very one. Good. Yeah, that's a sleeper. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to give a shout out to this one. What did I just see? The Mankind title win, Jan 4th. Oh, yeah. Denied. But would Beautiful you show moment. them WCW, like that moment when they call it out, and then? <laughs> like, you got you to gotta see if they want to change order. the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'll put the butts in the seats. Uh, Flay Mink here says, Adam, I'm your biggest supporter. Now that you've got a title, are you going to Brock Lesnar it as the host? Also, we need a Battle of the Champions 2.0 top five winners. Also, thank you guys. BJ, uh, Board Game Club and CBW blew out the speaker in my phone. Oh, no way. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what to do with this. Um, we have plans for, uh, you know, we have a, we have something of a Quizlemania tradition that happens in December. So that will be the plan. And then who knows? Who knows what the future of this championship might be? Uh, I'm just Marcus said, I asked this at Survivor Series, but am I the only one who wants to see Chris Hero have at least one match in AEW, possibly against Jericho, as it fits the story? I would no. I would really like Chris Hero being uh, at least given a chance to have his flowers. If I'm booking one match, it's Hero and Castagnoli against FTR. Oh, mm. yes, yeah. please. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm a, I like, I like Chris Hero a lot, so I'd like to see him get that moment. My only worry would be that he comes in and it's not very good, and everyone's like, because like I, when Daniels uh, was signed to AEW, I was like, fucking brilliant at last. Like Christopher Daniels, one of my favorite wrestlers ever, is going to get me shown off on a big stage, and he had that one match where he pretty much fucked everything. And then all the comments we got the following day was people being like, this is the first time I've ever seen Christopher Daniels and this is the guy you were raving about. And I'm like, no, 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 he's really good though. Like, we'll go watch these matches. This is where he's good. I don't want that to happen to Chris Hero. Like, people come in and be like, oh, this guy? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Callum here says, Adam, as champion, it can only mean one thing. Holly Musgrave for Quizzlemania. Fuck you, Holly Musgrave. <laughs> And, also, uh, yeah, be... and lastly, Jared the Nerd said, Hi all. I'm not watching live as I just got off work, but I wanted to thank you all for the entertaining videos from this past year. Rest Talk was my number one podcast on Spotify. Hey, hey. Thank you. Here's to another year of enjoying wrestling. Adam for life. Um, did everyone do their unwrap today? Who's got their uh oh, there's Holly? <laughs> <laughs> She's on the show. Fuck you, Holly Musgrave. Pokemon. Uh, catch catch oh, I really hate Pokemon, me. I <laughs> can't be doing with all them evolutions and that. Oh, jeez. 
Are we are we giving Holly the, the Pete voice? Yeah, she, everyone everyone's got everyone's got the Pete voice. Um, so everyone knows I did my Spotify and rap today. My top five artists were The Beatles, followed by Great. Faith No More, Faith followed no by the, yeah. the Deftones, followed by The Kinks, followed by Nirvana. No Limp Biscuit. I'm in the past. Um, no, uh, there, well, no new album this year. I think that's what got them on the mm. list last year was me listening to Still Sucks on repeat. Mm. My number one was the Eagles for the second year in a row. <laughs> Turns out mm. I listen to a lot of the Eagles. <laughs> classy, classy boy. Well, thank you all so much for watching this show. Thank you again to our wonderful audience. Uh, please give them some love in the chat. Alex, your queen of the ring. There is her details. Go follow her on the social media. The Professor Dan Layton. Thank you, Dan. Captain Consistent came in, uh, coming third. <laughs> Tempest, former champion. But our final word, I suppose, will come from your new Quizzlemania champion. Adam, please, the floor is yours. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it took 54 Quizzlemanias for it to happen, but it has happened. And I will never lose this championship. I will be your one-time Quizzle Mania champion because Tempest can't close. Dan is my evil twin. And I think Alex is cool, but this was not her day. This day was a blompy day. <laughs> And on that bombshell. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do subscribe. Go check out today's sponsor of this wonderful video. Surfshark, please do click the link in the video description down below because you get yourself not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but 83% off your deal. Uh, so please do click that link and use the promo code Jam That Jam. And on that note, Jam That Jam, everyone. Have a good day. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you all for watching. Bye.